Hello there. We'll be starting very soon. Give me the emotes. You see, I'm powered by emotes, so in the beginning, this is your chance to do all the emotes as you can. You can fit. Don't spend too many, just enough. Look at all these emotes. Very moody music there. Let me put that down a little bit there, guys. Mood. Oh, 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 oh. Noises. Case of the Mondays, I guess. Possibly. Yeah. Peach is getting a little wired up here. Literally. Maybe figuratively. Who knows? Ooh. Metaphorically. PJ, you there? I'm here. Oh, there he is. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Lewis. I am your host for today's live build for Scythe. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm going to go with that pronunciation for the rest of the stream. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mixer chat. Scythe is a mixer streamer who, in coordination with AMD, we are building, a B we are building an AMD build today. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the specs and talk about what is so AMD about this PC. That rumbling you hear in the background is PJ. Yeah, just blame it all on me, why don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all your fault. Is it my fault? I don't know, you're just, I'm just saying like, that's what I hear all day long. It's all your fault. Turn oh, the mic PJ. off and on. Excuse me? Let's turn the mic off and on. Turn it off and on? Off, on. Talk? Talk. There you go. I'm here. Yeah, for whatever reason, it was a little jittery. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the specs and now. Oh, 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 there's that jittery again. Hold on. All right, there we go. No more jittery. So today we are building a Origin PC Millennium desktop. I'm going to be very careful not to say gaming or streaming because we need to confirm with Scythe. Hello there, Scythe. I see you in chat. We are all watching. Oh, hello, Scythe's channel. I see you guys are watching as well. So I'm going to be speaking to two chats. So many chats. Actually, it's like a billion chats here at Origin PC Live Builds. Anyway, so here are the specs for all of you uh, watching. It is an Origin PC Millennium desktop, which you can find at OriginPC.com. You can only find this desktop at Origin PC. So if you're wondering, like, oh, man, this looks like a really cool desktop case. Where can I get it? Only at Origin PC. The power supply is a 1,000-watt EVGA Supernova G3. Lots of power. The cables are EVGA black sleeve cables for that little stealth look so you don't notice the cable. Sometimes people like them red, people like them blue, like them bright green. We're going with black today. The motherboard is an MSI X399 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard. This motherboard is designed for the Threadripper CPU, which we'll be getting to very soon. The cooling the CPU is a Frostbite 360 all-in-one cooler. So this is a liquid-cooled uh, all-in-one unit, so there's no need to refill, nothing anything needed to do is just put it in and you're good to go for the fans we have corsair rgb premium fans so this pc is going to have a whole lot 
of RGB lighting. So if you like that RGB lighting, you hate it. Well, you can turn it off if you don't like it. But if you like it, guess what? This thing is going to have a bunch. Because the case itself does have RGB lighting and the fans as well. It's going to be... Actually, you'll see in the build, he's going to wire up all the fans as well. Yes, you are. You're going to wire up the fans. Yeah, that's your favorite part, right? Yeah. <laughs> For the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX. So it's not on the image, but I'm going to tell you how many cores this thing has. So let's, does anyone in the chat know off the top of their head? Feel free to guess how many cores this thing has. I'm going to confirm it because I think I know. 24. That's 24. 32. I think 32 might be it. So let me confirm that. 32! The world's first 32-core processor and the world's most powerful desktop processor in one. This is from AMD. So for those of you who said 32 in chat, you are correct. So this is a beast of a CPU. It can pretty much do everything. Gaming, streaming, content creation, um, graphics, everything under the sun. It's very powerful. For the GPU, again, I did say this is an AMD build. It is a single 16 gigabyte AMD Radeon 7 GPU, which was just revealed at CES. It was a relatively new GPU. Uh, for the RAM, we have 32 gigabytes of 2933 megahertz. I know that's such an odd number for RAM. I saw it in the spec sheet. I'm like, that's right. They do make that kind of RAM. It's very odd. Uh, Origin PC approved DDR4 RAM. Uh, PJ, is it? I believe that's HyperX. Yes, sir. It is. So shout out to HyperX. For our storage for this PC, we have 500 gigabytes of Seagate Barracuda SSD. One SSD drive that's 500 gigabytes, and then another SATA SSD that's one terabyte. Of course, we also come with a Origin PC wooden crate armor, a warranty, lifetime 24-7 USB-based support, and lifetime free labor, and Windows 10. Shout out to Microsoft. All right. That about sums it up for... The specs, we always talk about the specs. You can see everything is right there in a little nice little bin there. PJ is getting all warmed up. And this finish. build should take approximately two hours. <laughs> yeah, like I said, approximately two hours. I have to say approximately because you Do never you know. Have stuff to? happens. You like people have to. Unicorns will walk in the room and there's a whole bunch of stuff that's happening. What? Yeah, man. Crazy like, stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff has been afoot at, at uh, Origin like, PC HQ. Didn't you see the stream last time? There's a unicorn that walked in. What? No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, unicorn. I was a market. unicorn one time during a live stream. You were. You I were. was, you right? Were, yeah. What's the price of this thing? We'll go ahead and spec that out later in the stream. Off the top, I of can head. give you. Well, do you have like a ballpark? I think my ballpark is around four thousand five hundred. No, my paperwork does not have a ballpark, sir. My, my apologies. My theory is four thousand five hundred, and this is based on our site. Of course, people like to do PC part picker. It's going to be cheaper if you do in PC part picker. That's a fact. But on our site, it's going to be a little different because you get the warranty, you get all the cool stuff behind the scenes. All right, I'm going to start taking everything out of all the bags. Do stuff. it. I'll lower your volume. Just get a little loud for the chat. Well, you know, well, yeah. I'm sure the chat's okay. With it. It's just, like, actually, wait, are you doing the GP right now? You want to show that off to the people? I do want to show that Because we off. haven't really shown off the Radeon 7 GP. Go ahead and look at uh, the camera to your right. Where am I going? Right here? Right, right, right here. There oh. you go. So this right here, friends, is the Radeon 7 a GPU. Again, this was revealed at CES and actually this last. Is the same one from CES that you guys actually saw. I don't it know. is. It, it, you're, is it really? you're right. You're right. You're actually correct. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, look. See, yeah. I was right, and I didn't even know. Yep, 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 yep. All right, what are we going for next? What are we going for next? Let's go. Um, let's go for the motherboard. Let's all do all this motherboard. Let's do the motherboard and the memory and all, all the stuff all together. So, if you want to move that camera up without getting too much in your way, feel free to do so, PJ. Which one? This one here? Yeah. This one right here? Yeah. All the people that are staring do, do, at my do, finger. Oh, stop pointing. That's rude in some countries. All right, where are we going? I'm going to go right here. Doesn't have to be too close. It's close enough that you can see the motherboard. There you go, because people want to see the motherboard. Okay. I see people asking about the price somewhere. I'll get to the price very soon. There's just so many things to go over right now. Is the XP99 Pro Carbon? Yes, it is. MSI. So PJ's using the bottom of a, mount, a very large mouse pad to take care of the motherboard. Um, while PJ's getting some of the parts up, uh, I know some of you are probably wondering, who won the PewDiePie giveaway? Well, we announced that last uh, Friday, but we got the winner right here. 
and we're extremely close to confirming the winner. So it looks like this, this is most likely the final, 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 final winner. At Shepard8055. So if you were wondering about that, there it is. Thank you for entering. We all, well, hold on, before you're like, oh man, that's the winner. What about other giveaways? Guess what? Type exclamation point giveaway or giveaways in chat, and you're going to get a whole bunch of links to a whole bunch of giveaways that we're running. Hey, you know how many giveaways? Three. A whole bunch of giveaways. That's a whole bunch, right? That's Three? a whole bunch. Yeah, it is a whole Last bunch. Last time I checked, that was a whole bunch. Yeah. Yeah. So you see chat's lighting up right now with get the lit. exclamation point get giveaway. Get lit with, get lit with, 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 um... But before we get to these giveaways, we our April promo has got a little tweak. You might have noticed that uh, we did some tweaks here. Uh, you get free US ground shipping, a free external SSD upgrade, and a Fortnite bundle if you get a GTX GPU. Just stay, stay tuned for more updates on our April promo, friends. But you can check that out at originpc.com. Our RTS systems are still selling. We still have like a a handful of them left from my check so this promo might be ending pretty soon we have an origin pc neuron case which you can see right there on the right starting at thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars and an eon 15s laptop with gtx graphics the reason the fortnite's on or that image is because guess what you get some fortnite goodies if you get that laptop this week also exclamation one giveaways does not work on youtube sorry youtube i have to send you the links manually um this week the live build which is currently happening right there whoa 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 is that a call for me no, 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 no one's calling me. Uh, gaming PC live build on Wednesday, so nothing happening tomorrow, but that's going to be our gaming PC. They changed Gilroy, our YouTube vlogger. We're building him a PC on Thursday, and we're going to play Dead Cells this Friday. So if you're watching on Twitch, you can interact with the stream, and that should be pretty fun. I'm calling you. What? You calling me? I'll call you. Of course, I was talking about the giveaways earlier. If you do type originpc.com slash pewdiepie you can enter for a chance to win an evo 16s laptop with a pewdiepie logo on it and background it's really cool uh pewdiepie actually showed his off on a video just recently whoa 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 because i can hear the noises of the chat hearing so if i hear strange noises i'll try my best to not torture you guys apologies trying to get this mic adjusted you good yeah I hope so. And for the other giveaways, we have originpc.com slash Black for a chance to win a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Another one with Timac. Another GPU, actually. So you get two chances to enter for a GPU. That's pretty good. Normally, we just do one, but we're currently doing two. And finally, the big thing that we've been hyping up a whole lot of stuff is Origin PC with St. Jude Play Live. So every year we do a campaign with St. Jude Play Live, and ours has just started. Granted, the official start date for the goodies and all that, the rewards and whatnot is in the 26th, but we're still raising money for St. Jude. If you go to bit.ly slash OPC caps play live, P is capital, L is capital, you can, if you type exclamation point donate, you get the link. And or exclamation point St. Jude. Don't exclamation point donate or expl exclamation point St. Jude and you'll get the link to donate. And if you donate, I, I should have set it up so you'll actually show up on stream. Actually, we'll go back to the actual build part right over here, guys. If you see in the top left corner of the screen, you'll see that we have a little bar set up to show off our current donations. We just started this last week, so we're going to be going for... The goal is 10k, but we have a 20k goal and... Brian and Jerrica, who work at Origin PC, will be getting tattoos to celebrate the 20k goal. So we're hoping to hit that 20k goal so, you know, we can have them permanently remembered how we raised 20k for the children of St. Jude. So again, you guys are totally welcome to donate. You don't have to, um, but it's greatly appreciated, especially over there for those over at St. Jude. We'll go ahead and take a closer look at the motherboard. So PG already put one put in the RAM. That was like a blink and you miss it. It's gone. It's up. RAM is really easy to put in for those of you that are not familiar no, with PC building. It is extremely easy to put in the RAM and replace RAM too. It's going to make sure that it can run on your motherboard and CPU. Oh, oh speak of the devil. I can't read it, but let me pull up Tiltify. Thank you for your donation, Robert. Look at that. Let me pull up my Tiltify here so I can get the list. Let me refresh. Yeah, there's a list. Call out. Robert, thank you very much for your $20 donation for the kids. For the kids. I really so we're going to be saying that a bunch, so I hope you get, don't get too annoyed when we say, for the kids, because it's for the children of St. Jude. So, 
Thank you very much. There goes that. So PJ, actually show off the box for the AMD uh, thread ripper before you toss it. So AMD has an incredible packaging for their CPUs that uh, is very detailed. There's a lot of it cool takes like- you about maybe at least 15, 20 minutes just to get the CPU That's out not of the true. Box. That's <laughs> not true. It takes you like but two once, seconds. Once you get it out, this is how you get it. Yeah, that, that's the little... case of the CPU and they take very good care of their CPUs. Better take good care. That's like, I think enormous. Yeah, and the Ryzen is a bigger than average uh, CPU. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Excuse me. Take care of the merchandise. My apologies. PJ? I had no idea that box was going to fly off. Hey, that way. hey. Inside this box comes the uh, the AM4 bracket that holds the Frostbite cooler and then the tool. The special to tool. To tighten the. Clothes. The cool thing about this tool is actually torque spec, so there's no way to go over tight yep. this. Andy so, thinks of everything, man. That's crazy. To open it up, you got to go backwards. To tighten it, you go forward. So. <laughs> I am more than that. Thread Ripper build, that's right. I know people were talking about that last week when we built the PC for Jacksepticeye. Like, oh, I want to see AMD stuff. I, am, I want to see AMD stuff. Well, guess what? We got you today. Hey, guess what? You're going to see some AMD stuff. This is the AMD build. So, okay, here we go. Give me a good motherboard. Going Forgive me, I'm a lefty, all right, guys? So, no, he's good. Squeeze these two inlets right here, one and two, and this comes up. So, for motherboard here recommendations, it's pretty much based on right price. Here. Oh, no. Nope. slides out. Now, your Thread Ripper over here. Pop it open, take this off, and it stays inside this orange casing right mm -hmm. here. You never take it out. It's like sliding a cartridge in. You take it, slide it right in until you feel it click. Once it clicks, you just simply push it down. Did that go in right? Did you get it in right? <laughs> yeah, it went in right. Oh, yeah. Don't be the fool and leave the socket protector over it. Dizzle. It looks so delicate. I would be scared. Don't be scared, man. PC building. I know it looks very intimidating, but it's something very cool to do. If I can give any people out there advice when you're building your PC, don't be scared of the parts when you're doing the installation. The more nervous you are, the more you're liable to, you know, break something. Mm -hmm. So, don't be scared. Of whatever it is you're doing. And there's a whole bunch of guides and tutorials. And if you're watching the live, you can learn a thing or two as well. So if you're curious, feel free to keep click? watching. Yep, you can hear the click. I can hear the click. I don't know if chat can hear the click. One, two, three. I'll get the mic over there. Where are you streaming? I see YouTube, squeaks. Facebook, and what else? We're streaming on Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. So we're streaming on five platforms and on uh, that Sex Channel. That torque wrench click. Yep, 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 yep. Do a rap song. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, <laughs> yo, yo, check yo, it, yo. Check it out. Yo. Yo, I bust them ill rhymes. Can I find the price of this laptop on your website? Well, we're not building a laptop, but if you're talking about the Evo 16S, if you go to... Actually, I can show you. Because I, I got stuff over here set you up. got stuff. I got... I'm prepared. So here's our site. For those of you unfamiliar with the Origin PC website. Uh, we have desktops. You can't see it there because the logo is blocking it, but we got desktops. We got... Oh! Coming in with a donation. Let me get your name right, because I don't want to mess it up. Naza Box. Thank you for your $10 donation for the Toy Room St. Jude's. For the catch, hashtag for the kids for the in kids. chat. Thank you very much. All right. Back to the site, which I was just explaining the, the technicalities of. It's not very easy. So we're going to the Evo 16S. Actually, even better. If you want to see the prices, you can just go to laptops and compare all. And then you select 16 inch, and there it is. So our 16 inch laptop starts at 18 or 1,850. And you're wondering, man, that's a lot. Guess what? It comes actually. It can start with, I believe, a 2060 GPU. Let me confirm that. So I'm gonna jump here really quickly just to, to show you answering the questions, answering our questions. Okay, I'm gonna put PJ's mic down a little bit because he's gonna use the drill. All right, I think you can kind of sort of hear the drill, but let me know if that's that should work for you guys. Okay. Um, so over here you can see the laptop has 2060, 2070, or a 2080. You can check that out at originpc.com. So again, the prices vary because you can customize your laptop. Back to the build, because PJ is drilling. Let me jump back. All right, so more questions. What about the Pewds giveaway? <laughs> I'm prepared for you too. Check this out. Oh, there's the winner. 
at Shepard8055. We had a really cool stream last week to announce the winner, too. Um, yeah, the tab stream was actually hilarious. Thank you, Pastor Snapple. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, that's right. Snapple, hey. Thank you for your artwork. Greatly appreciated that, too. But yeah, that was a very fun stream. No, don't worry about don't worry about it. We love what you sent already. All right, back to the build. So PJ's over here getting the desktop ready to go for. Did you mount it yet or no? Yeah, no, he did not mount the motherboard. That tomato man, yes, tomato man, a true hero for all of us. All right, let's see. So again, if you have questions, let me. I'm gonna jump over to the Scythe stream. I'm gonna keep an eye on your chat, Scythe, because like, you guys might be asking questions. I might be missing them entirely, so I apologize for that. Because I have like a billion chats on my left screen. That's why I'm looking in this direction. Okay, okay, okay. I see you guys over in Scythe stream. Hmm. Hmm. Now we're getting a little meta here because I'm seeing myself on stream watching Scythe stream and Scythe is commenting over the stream. Hmm. I see no questions over here though. But everyone's just saying, hi. Yeah, that's right. Hi. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm, gonna, I'm watching questions from Scythe and everyone else on YouTube and Mixer and Twitch. Let's go ahead and jump up here. I'll try again. Do you have any recommendation for a good motherboard with a 9600K? I've looked for the AORUS 390 Pro. It depends. I, my my recommendation is to whatever you need. It's because some motherboards have features and ports that you, know, you might not need. So you're spending extra money for ports that you will never use. But if there's ports that you want to use, then you want to go for that motherboard. Um, so the AORUS 390 Pro works for that. And of course, check reviews. That's always my other advice is always to check reviews. When will Origin start offering builds with the Xeon W3175X? Well, let me put down the volume here. There you go. Um, I'm gonna, let me quick check. Just because that could be... That's more of a pro CPU. Because we have multiple CPU op options on the site. We have some that are dedicated to gaming. And then we have the pro ones. Xeons are typically offered on the pro systems. I'm going to do a quick check for you. Just to make sure I want to... Let me see if we are offering or not. I don't know off the top of my head because I don't... I'm more familiar with our gaming, but I am also familiar with our pro, but not super familiar with it because there's so many options on the pro side. So let me check here. Uh, da -do 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 -do. Actually, I'm going to show you guys. While PJ's drilling over here, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the pro side. PJ's drilling. But you can still see the build in the bottom left corner. Okay, so here's the pro side. You'll notice it actually has a white background because, you know, I guess that's just the way pro rolls. Oh! We got Tiltify. Again. See, I, I'm glad we got it working. Thank you, Elora May, for your $10 donation for the children of St. Jude. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So we just broke 300 based on these uh, three donations. So again, thank you guys very much. For So far, yeah, man. Yeah, we just started, we, like, we started raising awareness last Friday. Um, and again, our goal is 10,000. So we're just, we're going at a pretty good pace. Again, thank you all of you for donation. Everyone that, that donates, I always say thank you, thank you, thank you. Because again, this is going to straight to St. Jude. It's not going to us. It's through Tiltify. So St. Jude gets, gets all this money straight up. Which is awesome. I like the system. So, thank you. Anyways, back to our Xeon hunting here. This should be the 622, but I can go backwards and confirm. Okay, let's check here. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, another one. I'm gonna. I'm, I keep getting this track because of the Tiltify donations. That's a good thing, right? I'm about to like jump back over here. Let me. Hold on. Let me jump out of here. I don't think we have it. Go over here and say thank you to Richie Evans with your ten dollar donation. Greatly appreciate it. Of course. Uh oh, I'm getting called again. Someone really wants to talk to me. Um, thank you so much for your donation for the Children of St. Jude's. Hashtag for the kids in chat. Okay, back to the questions. I know I was trying to answer. I think I can't tell you when Buck Mints, but eventually. Okay. Da, da, da. Holy moly. Is that the... Yes. That's, that actually is <laughs> the, comp, the building competition. So, Origin PC BL was on April 1st. And uh, unfortunately, the building competitions are not real. 
Although we might look into actually doing another building competition. They were fun. We wouldn't do it to that like crazy level. So, because we have commentators. PJ was one of the commentators. PJ, if you want to speak to the... Actually, hold on. I'll, let me shout out the donation and we can talk about OPC BL quickly here. Um, Slim Yeti with the $5 donation with a comment. Two times survivor here. Love that you guys are helping the much kids. Thank you, you so much. And $5 donation also from Quab and for T4Con for tour. Man, so many guys. So many, oh my gosh. It's a storm. It's happening. I'm here all the thring, thrings. It's all just uh, sacking up. But thank you, Slim Yeti, Quab, T4Con, Fortor. Man, thank you guys so much. And this is going to be, I think, going to be a record stream. Because we had two streams on Friday and we did pretty good. But I think you guys are going to make it really big. So greatly appreciate it. Okay, back to the questions. Yeah, well, OPCBL like was. here at the bottom, Captain Millennium. Captain Million, I'm new to PC specs and info, so out of curiosity, what exactly is an RTX? So an RTX is NVIDIA's GPU um, series. Um, let me quickly look that up information to tell you exactly what NVIDIA RTX is. I know we're doing an AMD build, but we have all sorts of GPUs here at Origin. What is NVIDIA GeForce RTX? So basically RTX just brings you uh, real-time ray tracing, uh, AI powered rendering, and Basically, it makes the games look a little bit more realistic than normal. But the trick is the game developers have to create systems in order for RTX to work. And that's where right now, you know, NVIDIA is slowly building up their um, repertoire of games with RTX. I hope that answered your question. Another Tiltify donation. Man, this is just on a roll. You guys are absolutely just knocking it out. Mad Viking, DK, Stain Paint. Hashtag for the kids. For the Let's kids. go. Man, thank you guys. $5. Both of you, anything helps. You you donate a dollar right now, and I'll be like, thank you very much for that one dollar for the kids. And St. Jude greatly appreciates it as well. I'm going to be saying this in the entire stream. It's going to be awesome. Again, thank you guys. All right, back to the questions. YouTube. Oh, man, it's just it's just happening. I'm going to have to keep refreshing this. Squirrely Wrath, hashtag for the kids for with the $10 kids. donation. He, PJ's also going to say for the kids, too, the every kids. time this happens. And, of course, we have our little St. Jude flag in the background, too. That's the old logo. But we still like holding up, holding it up here because all the streams that we do, all the donations, everything we do goes straight to St. Jude. So again, thank you very much, Squirrelly Rap. Okay, back to answering the questions. Hopefully, and then someone's going to hit me with another Tiltify donation. You guys ship to Germany? We ship worldwide. Oh, good. Listen more. Need to see you do some workstation builds, though, for sure. I know we did one for Trey Radcliffe, if you want to check that one out. That was a very, that was an M-Class system. That was a, uh, ooh, that was a, uh, was The M-Class. The, oh, the um, case. The, yeah, the fractal case. Fractal meshify. Yeah. I really like that case. That was nice. What is the best combo with Ryzen 5 2600? New to PC building. Um, honestly, it just depends on what you want, right? Because you can go with a Ryzen GPU or an RTX GPU or a GTX GPU because GTX GPUs now also support ray tracing. And actually, AMD GPUs also technically would support ray tracing as well as Crytek has proven. So it's kind of it's tricky for us to recommend because honestly the best way to answer those questions for recommendations is what are you going to be using the PC for? There's a difference between using a PC for Minecraft versus using a PC to play something like Metro, Metro Exodus, or Battlefield Five, or Tomb say, Raider. Red Tomb Raider, Resident GTA. Evil Two, Hitman, very graphics intensive games. All right, let's continue scrolling through. I'm trying to catch up here. Boom, 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 and you can throw any more. I don't think you can. I have the stream brought up on Facebook and Twitch. A hey. I wonder how large the numbers of uh, so many donations. Yeah, I know, right? Scythe and your community. You guys are, are, are I don't I don't use that word. You guys are uh, rocking it. We, we tried a GoPro once before and it really wasn't fantastic. Yeah, we tried that. The problem is it's very jittery. Like the camera moves too much. Actually, let me swap cameras here so you can see what PJ's up to on the wiring side. Um, and the first person camera was a cool idea and concept. The problem is it's too jittery, especially if the person's moving a lot. And another Tiltify donation. I think it was perfect because it just ended like when I finished my idea. So, I'm, so it's like sneaking in the perfect ones. Hey, I'm just Trip curious. Is that runner. for the kids? Hashtag for the kids. For the kids. Thank you very much for your $5 donation for the children of St. Jude. For the kids and free PJ. Hey, I haven't heard that in a minute. Hey, free PJ. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a pain you're trying to build a PC. We tried doing that something like that and hands in, get in the way. It's true. It's tricky. And that's why we prefer having the stationary tripod cameras. And then we can swap the cameras too. And so it makes can... it easier for me because I don't feel like I'm walking around with something heavy. Yeah. Head so here's like the second camera that we have and the one back over here. 
It's better having. I, I like this two camera setup. So, modded Minecraft with ray tracing can some. Yeah, actually, that is true. There is a modded Minecraft with sort of uh, ray tracing enabled in it, and it requires a very strong PC to run. So, go go figure. I was talking about Minecraft, and actually, there's a mod that makes it um, push it. <laughs> it's scrolling through. I'm trying to catch up. Uh, ooh. Did I catch up? Oh, it can even run big, big chibungus. I'm assuming chungus. Bro. Okay. Ask Lewis if he like unicorn poop. You like unicorn yes. poop? Yes. Man, I ate so much of it last. I ate two or one. I can't remember. But I did eat some. Brian was faking the funk on Friday. Hey, if we get to 400, um. I'll eat some on stream. Why not? Yo, what? I'll eat unicorn poop. I think there's some in the room. Who right should eat there. unicorn poop for a hundred bucks? Hey, man. Bring out a unicorn at 400. Well, the unicorn gear is here, so... You have to, like, sneak it in. Oh, so, man. That's, that's... If you guys are wondering why we're talking about unicorn stuff, so in the last stream that we did... Um, actually, this is kind of related to our April Fool stream. Because uh, during our April Fool's stream, we actually had a segment where it was called Mask Up. And Mask the two up. builders Mask and PJ, up. PJ actually wore the unicorn mask himself. Um, the b two builders and PJ wore mask, animal mask, while the build was happening and PJ was commentating. And that, I think that was one of the most ridiculous portions of the entire segment, or entire stream. So My favorite is when Nova was telling us his uh, mask was fogging up his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, coming in with another Tiltify donation. Tiltify donation. Not a box with a one dollar donation. Do you like unicorn? I love unicorn poop. <laughs> for the cash tag for the kids. Helping out the children of Saint Jude. I'm telling you, I'm gonna read. I have everything hey, right Captain here. Hey, Captain Eight Four Seven. You might be right, but you might be wrong. Isn't that a Billy Joel song? Could be. I think it is. Is the winner of the PewDiePie Pichu so chosen? I'll get to that after I read off this donation via Tiltify. Gorf Dab is you. Oh, here we go. It's coming. Elora May with eighteen dollars. Do you like unicorn poop? Gorf Dab is unicorn poop tasty. Oh man, we're gonna find out. I can tell you. I think we might have done it. Let's take a look. So thank you, Elora May and Gorf Dab, for your eighteen and twenty dollar donations, respectively. And thank you for your comments about the unicorn poop. And the fun, I think the, oh, here we go. It, it's just going to keep rolling in. Oh, you're going to eat that poop. <laughs> Slim cry fun. Oh, no. Eat the here poop. It's the delivery. I'm getting a delivery here. You guys did it. PJ's not going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Okay. So right now, thank you for all of your donations. But it looks like a unicorn will be joining on stream. The unicorn is here left. to deliver its poop. Thank you, unicorn. And Thank there's and there's a lot here. I, I'm only getting one, but I've been blessed by multiple poops. But it's very unhealthy eating multiple poops, so I'm just gonna eat one for now. Eat the poop. And this eat is, the poop. <laughs> this is gonna be a thing. I can't believe it. <laughs> yes. I, I, I bought this yes, as a the joke. ghost muffin. You eat the poop. -poo. What <laughs> what is that as unicorn? It is a unicorn. This is the delivery here. Um. It is a poo, and actually, it really is shaped like a poo, like an anime style poo, like perfectly shaped too. Like they had a mold or something. They had to like perfectly set it up for this thing. All right, time to eat it. You guys did it. Congratulations! I greatly appreciate it. This is for the kids, everyone. Hmm. So, see, it's not, it's not fair because it's not disgusting. That's <laughs> 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 supposed to be like. Ooh. That's why it's better if you get, like shove like four down your mouth. The four? You gotta no. Shove like three or four in your mouth. Then you then. If then we get to a thousand gets... this stream, I'll do it. But oh man, oh I we, will got, build we got hit super with another. Slow if you guys get to a thousand, <laughs> another donation. I want to see him shove five of those things on his throat. Thank you for your uh, twenty dollar donation. Target nineteen sixty nine hashtag for the, kids. for the kids. Thank you very much. All right, I need to finish the poop. The poop. The the poop is halfway eaten. Oh man, that statement. Gorf dab, comment. Does Grubhub deliver unicorn poop? I don't think they do, but they should. 
And we just got hit with another. So it's fine. I'm refreshing quickly. Ten dollar donation from Mr. Shmo. Unicorn poop. Unicorn poop. Do you like? I try to. <laughs> you like it, it should be different flavors. That's what I think. Because unfortunately, all of it tastes the same. It does it. It does, dude. It's just the dye is different. Like this one's purple. And it's this all one's, the same. Actually, this one's green and pink. But the funniest thing is, if you look closely at my camera. Because we're chroma keyed right now, the poop is actually see through almost, and it looks black almost on screen. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, it's just all the more tasty right there, buddy. So, because we did that on the stream, it's pretty funny. So, all right, I see questions and people eating. Uh, I'm curious to know what kind of desk PJ is building on. So, it's actually our uh, special origin desk that we created for CES. It's a, it was a small project. We were considering. Um, Making these to sell them. Um, you wanna switch they're... to the cameras? So yeah, we can. But it never came to fruition. It's actually PJ um, is controlling the camera, showing off the desk. Uh, so you can actually adjust it, and PJ does all the time adjust it, you know, to make it a little better. And another Tiltify donation from Refreshing X the Morning Star. Hashtag do it for the goobers. Do it for the goobers. <laughs> Look, Thank I you for your donation, right Morningstar. Right Greatly appreciate it. For the kids. Yeah, I get nervous eating in front of people. <laughs> hey, if you're, you're you're eating uni poop for the kids, I'm gonna call it uni poop, uni poop for the kids. Man, I'll, just sign me up, man. Just eat as many as I can until I don't know until I have to go see a doctor. <laughs> yes. Origin PC new collaboration with Rooster Teeth charities or something you are supportive of. They do extra life annually. It's great. We support all charities as we can. We support Stack Up. We support a Stack Up. Um, we were looking into supporting other charities as well. We're open to doing as much as we can. Um, this is the St. Jude is the one that we've been consistently working with because um, we've been in contact with those that team and they're really great. Imagine they've started from like really small and they blew up because a lot of streamers jumped on board to support it. Ah, they're coming in. More of them. Mr. J Wallace, hashtag for the kids. Thank you very much for your $10 donation. Lewis, what? For the kids. For the kids. For the kids. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but it's for the kids. All right. How are you alive? <laughs> Just tell Pete to help you out with the charity. He does his charities, too. Um, to like to send... Oh, and another one. It's just, it's just happening, man. It is happening. <laughs> just use that image. The image of the unicorn and the squatty potty. I remember the squatty potty. <laughs> I remember that image. Radical babe with a twenty dollar donation, all for the kids. For the kids. Happy face. I have to add the happy face. I appreciate uh, happy faces. Speaking Thank you very much. Hashtag for the kids. Speaking of happy faces, Lewis, what did you think of that Joker trailer? The Joker trailer. I think it's very interesting. Joaquin Phoenix is an amazing actor, and I, don't I think, think I'm going to be disappointed. I think he's going to do it justice. It's not. People should not expect to go into this expecting like a superhero style movie. This nope. is like a movie movie. Yep. Like this isn't just like it's just it just so happens to feature a very popular comic book villain, um. So I think it's been an interesting uh, take on the Joker, very different from uh, Jerry Leto's. So I wasn't a fan of that ever. Oh, I see, I see you, Sif. I see you with the <laughs> the unicorn poop. Uh, I see it. I sees it with the unicorn squatty potty poop. Greatly appreciate it. And another Tiltify donation coming in from Gorfdab. Last one. Did you know that Stat Booster delivers unicorn poop worldwide? Stat Booster. Clearly an innovator in unicorn poop delivery. Thank you very much for your $10 donation. All of your donations are greatly appreciated, Gorfdab. Thank you very much. Man, we're really pushing it this stream. I love it. That's great. Again, Saif, thank you to you and your community for watching as well. Um, shout out to you guys. I see some of these names here popping up in the chat so greatly appreciate you guys okay let me go back answering the questions how many kidneys would, would pc cost catman needs one um uh, i'm not familiar with that market i right. cannot answer that question check the dark web <laughs> dark web i would not recommend checking the dark web at all for anything but that's what you want to do you'll you know? get hit with the viruses man another simplify <laughs> donation <laughs> go get hit with the viruses Slim Griffin, hashtag for the kids. Thank you very much, Slim Griffin, hashtag for the Is kids. Is it Griffin or Griffin? Griffin or Griffin? I think it's Griffin. 
I, I, I Grian, it's just that's my bad. I apologize if I screwed up your name. I, I take great effort in trying to pronounce everything as well as I can. Cheers from Captain Cook through nine hundred. Thank you very much. I can't read that. I think it says free PJ. I think I'll check. I'll confirm that with there's you. There's just I'm the checking. Going on I right? know it's hard. It's hard to see, but let me. I'll check for you. Alerts, recent events. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Cheers. I love PJ. What? That's what Captain Cook said. Three nine. You got fans, PJ. Can you believe it? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot. I'm not used to this. Okay, let me boot up. I'm not the used to this type of here. lifestyle. Next thing you're gonna get like a little fan base. They're gonna send you cards. Cool. It's gonna say free PJ. I like uh, I like sour gummies. Uh, do you take embers? We do not have that system set up yet, Bat Frog. Unfortunately, we'll have to look into that. Um, a lot of the donations and stuff is currently set up with Twitch and Tiltify. Okay. I don't know why, but looks like Restream Chat just completely isn't working. So I have to manually go check everyone's chat. Well, I got Twitch chat over here. Another Tiltify donation coming in from Mr. J. Wallace. $20. Oh, there we go. Now the chat's coming in. For the kids, man. Thank you very much, Mr. J. Wallace, with your $20 donation. For the kids. For Hashtag kids. for the kids. Yeah, anyway, the funny thing is about this uh, campaign is we haven't started promoting it on social yet. We've been promoting it on streams because we're finalizing a whole bunch of cool stuff to... Uh, for this campaign. So we have some crazy stream ideas lined up too, including in-house tournaments, uh, raid runs. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that we got, but it's a lot of cool stuff that you might be surprised that we're going to do. Um, it's just to uh, continue raising awareness and hopefully raise as much money as possible for the children of St. Jude. Hopefully it'll be the best one. We're gonna, I know the streamers, uh, their team, because it's not just us raising money. It's a whole bunch of other uh, streamers and groups raising money, but we want to be in the top for sure you know we're here building pcs playing games but you know we're working on it uh did we just make 210 minutes or am i hallucinating i believe i mean doing quick maths i think we did a lot to be honest i mean looking at the data here it's a lot According to your calculations. okay i see the site build which i'm seeing myself which is very odd <laughs> I see. Okay, I'm gonna do a little fun, something, something funny for Scythe stream because I know he's right above me, right? So I'm gonna do this and go, Bruh! and Scythe's gonna have to react. Like, I'm like the monster. It's like attacking. Whoa, Slim Yeti coming with a subscription for the kids. Yeah, Scythe's like he's you're actually you're grabbing the camera, so you'll see that happen in uh, Scythe stream very soon. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I like how that came out. Good job, Scythe. <laughs> awesome. Also, let me shout out Yeti again. So are all of our Twitch subscriptions, unfortunately, have that, we do not have that set up for Mixer right now. Um, go for the kids. So thank you for your Prime subscription, Slim Yeti. So Prime subscriptions do count, too. So Because we don't take any, we don't take anything. It's all going straight to St. Saint, ah, Saint Jude. And actually, all those subscriptions and bits and all that, uh, we gather all of them up and add them to our Tiltify to go straight to them. All right, questions. What do we got? Do, 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 do. Need to save up to buy an Evo 16S. Um, yeah, if you want the um, RTX graphics, um, that that is like your best option on a laptop right now. Because we also have the 17X, but that's a little heavier and thicker. Um, but it also does support a desktop CPU, which is extremely powerful. Um, I always like to joke that the Evo, I mean, the, the Eon 17X is better than the majority of people's desktops. If you want to check that one out. So let's see what PJ's up to. And the motherboard is mounted, correct? Motherboard is mounted, power supply is mounted. I've already ran all the cables for the desktop, I mean, for the actual case to the motherboard, and I've already ran the power supply and the dual 8 pin CPU ports. Do you want to show off the wiring a little bit here? Yeah, where I mean, you're at. Not so really far. much on yeah, here right now. Yeah, so you can see PJ's wiring. It's not really much there. to look at because you can't see it. <laughs> it's only if the lights there. If you want to brighten it up, you can. No, I, yeah, I can put the light on all you want. You just can't see anything. It's all gone. Yeah. It disappeared. Gone. Is, uh, what's the channel name? At Origin PC. We're on Mixer. We're everywhere, man. Okay. G A W N. Gone. Is that how you spell it? Gone. 
At Origin PC, how does the Radeon 7 compare to the RTX 20 card? So the Radeon 7, I think it's the closest GPU that both, or that AMD likes to compare it to is the RTX 2080. Um, performance is pretty good. Of course, it's a, it's a little bit, it draws a little bit more power. Um, but if you like the AMD, eco, AMD ecosystem, the Radeon 7 is a very good choice. Um, the RX card still exists if you, you know you want something a little bit more you know entry level. Um, I always I've recommended RX cards to friends just because you know they're on the they're cheaper, but they still offer high graphics performance too. Um, of course, my advice to everyone that invests in either Nvidia's or AMD's ecosystem is to be familiar with their driver setup because AMD doesn't. I mean, from my knowledge, may, they might have changed. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. AMD, but the AMD, the AMD uh, driver system is different from Nvidia's. So there could be more, there could be less, and of course it depends on the games too. But we love them all here. Okay, questions. And of course, there's if you look in the benchmarks, there's probably more deep data. I can't provide that off the top of my head because I'm not like a data robot. It's like, oh man, I'm gonna tell you guys all about the benchmarks. So does he read a mixer mixer chat? I just did. Am I right? I'm also reading uh Scythe's chat as well. Oh do 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 do. Hmm. Are they gonna send you some unit poop? We might. Who knows? Join us on our Discord channel. Yeah, discord.gg slash origin PC. Alright, let me get out of here on the right side here. PJ's just chilling. Mm -hmm. Wiring everything up. White Jersey 2984 just subscribed for the kids. Thank you very much, White Jersey. Again, all donations and subscriptions go. To the children of St. Jude. And you get access to a couple emotes. We got, we're working on adding more emotes, though. But you do get that Origin Pride one. You also get the one that you can make, like, a square in Twitch shop. So, pretty cool. All right. So let's take a look. I'm looking around. What am I looking at? You're looking at a PC build. You missed all of my chats. Hello, nice computer. My PC has an Intel Core i3-8100 and adapter 34 gigabyte. Cool. Is this a tower from scratch? Yes. Yes. What kinds of RAM is he using? So we have 32, actually I'll show you the specs. A little quick specs refresher for the people. For the people. So here are the specs. Feel free to screenshot it, just in case I go too fast. If not, just enjoy it. What's up here? It's chilling. And Origin Piece of Millennium Desktop, 1,000 watt EVGA. Oh, we got hit with a subscription. Let me read you. Subscription. Hopping Madazi. I hope I read that correctly. Thank you very much for your subscription. 1,000 um, watt EVGA Supernova G3 power supply, EVGA Black Sleeps cables, MSI X399 gaming pro carbon motherboard, Frostbite 360 uh, all in one cooler. Of course, there are RGB premium fans, which is going to take PJ some time to install because it's very cool, but it takes time and precision. AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX 3.0 GHz um, CPU. And guess what? That's 32 cores, baby. That's a lot of cores. Single 16 GB AMD Radeon 7 GPU with that HMB2 memory. 32 GB of 2933 MHz Origin PC approved DDR4 RAM. 500 GB of Seagate Barracuda SATA SSD. 1 TB Seagate Barracuda SATA SSD. So two SSDs, one 500, one 1 TB. Very cool. Let's go back to the build. I hope I answered your questions with that. I didn't hear one word you said, dude. I was running through it. I was like, a blah, 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 blah. someone had too much Cuban coffee before the. Last. No, it was a unicorn poop. The unicorn poop does that to you? Yeah, man, it just uh, got me hyped. I have an RX four eighty that is thermal throttling crazy. I've changed the thermal pace past three times at the stage. Wiped drivers, blah blah. I only replaced that with my fans at hundred hundred. That's really odd. Um, if you haven't reached out to AMD, I would do so, or the um, GP manufacturer you got it from. I'm pretty sure you have. I mean, that's always my advice to try to go straight to the source to see if there's anything they know. Um, that just sounds very odd. Thermal throttling like crazy. You could, I mean, could maybe BIOS? I'm trying to think of any possible solutions for that one. But nothing else is coming to mind. Sorry, Rufus. I'm trying to think of stuff for suggestions and let me hames probably would have the fans on at 100 which sucks you don't want the fans on at 100 all the time so hmm and I, I have a feeling you've had this gpu for a while so you can't rma it dang if anyone in chat has all suggestions as well to solve that problem i'd appreciate it too 
Wait, AMD 7 is 6 gigabytes or GDR5 or GDR6? It's not GDD. Actually, hold on. Let me tell. Uh, so, AMD's GPUs are different from NVIDIA's, and I will show you on their site. Because their method of uh, GPU development is different. And we'll go ahead and jump to that and show it off. Because we are building with a Radeon 7. Here's our site. World's first 7 nanometer nanometer gaming GPU. Extraordinary creation, extreme gaming. Um, so there it is. It says right there, 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. So it's different from DDR. Um, let's see here. I don't really say too much here. This is a lot of cool images. I like that little GPU blow up there. That's the G same, exact same GPU we're using today. Um, and there's their stats. But of course, you can also check, um, whatchamacallit, um, benchmarks online as well. Uh, why no GPU? GPU's there. It's chilling. We're going to add it later. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, HMB2. Link for donation. I got you. You have to type it just as on screen if you're on Twitch or Mixer on Origin PZ's channels. If you type exclamation point St. Jude lowercase, you'll get the link. So it's bit.ly slash OPC in caps. Play live with P and L capitalized. I want to work on trading, creating alt links as well. You can donate there. I just got hit with a sub. I mi almost missed it, but I'm there. Hold up. Target 1969. I'm subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, Target, for your donation. Hashtag for the kids. For the kids. For the kids. For the kids. All right. Let me go back to the build. PJ's currently working on the not wiring you're where you're wiring you're wiring it up though right yep yep <clears throat> so i was running zero man we use um here we go uh broads boba fett thank you for your subscription <laughs> wow <laughs> my ears I'm sorry, chat. The PJ, his mic hit the case, which caused a whole bunch of bzzz noises to happen. Sorry about that. All right, it should be better. Yeah, it's better now. Sorry. Has the same GPU and he's fine. Same setup. Blah, blah, blah. That's weird, man. It could, it could be that GPU. Radeon is dead. Radeon is not dead. They're up and running. <laughs> My laptop barely handles Fortnite. <laughs> I've been calling it that, too. I don't know why. Uh, NVIDIA also is on their Tesla series of cards. They do. But that's, again, that's aimed at um, yes, extremely higher end. 16 gigabytes of way too much OP. Mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm -mm. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, God. What was that? That was a mic bug. When you're close to finishing. We should be finishing in about, I want to say, an hour or so. If we want to jump back in. So, rib beard rub the mic. Beards are rough on mics. I'm not talking. I'm not, I'm not rubbing it. This is a PJ. The when the case moved, it tapped the the mic. It's a GeForce 210 that has a ton of cracked traces and a broken cooler and no thermal paste worth keeping. I'm gonna go with a no. Um, <laughs> just because you can get you know, like, there's so many GPUs that are slightly better than that. They this. There's no point in keeping it. Unless you have like a PC build. <laughs> Actually, that's broken. I mean, unless you're looking to fixing that, I don't know if it's worth keeping. If you are looking to fixing it, then keep it and try to fix it up. But if not, just get a new GP for that. I mean, there's the, again, the AMD Radeon RX cards, the 5, 60, 70, and 80 um, NVIDIA's GTX cards. So you can go check those out. Planning on upgrading my rig soon. Cool. Hello from New Zealand. Hello from Miami, Florida. Ever watch I Can't Pronounce That Name on YouTube? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about those Strix issues. I know sometimes some um, creators have issues with their GPUs, and of course everyone, you know, even, in, I mean, not to name names, but some people do have, you know, there's, there's issues all the time. 
It's got to keep track. How much does this cost? Actually, good question. Let me go ahead and fully get you the, like, I have a ballpark number. My guess is from the Origin PC website, it's about 4,500. Um, so, let me see. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, where are we at? I'm going to go ahead and spec it out. All right, so this is more of a pro desktop. The reason I say pro is because we don't offer the this uh, CPU on gaming. So the build that we're building today is an AMD Ryzen Thread for 2990WX CPU. And again, we don't offer that on our gaming uh, desktops, but we do offer it on our pro. So in order to get to that uh, CPU, you need to go to the pro portion of the website, which I have right up here. This is our L class. So you'll see that you'll see familiar cases here, but these are just our very big desktops aimed at professionals. These are workstations. So these are not designed for gaming in mind. They are for professionales, as they say in Espanol, which my Spanish is horrible. So Man, you don't know Espanol. Espanol. I don't know. My last name is pretty Spanish. I have to say. So is mine. I know, right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that. AMD. That All right. Really. So, da, 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 da. This is standard orientation, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to standard. We're working on the how much does this cost question right now, so stay tuned. Okay. Okay, we got X399. Just clicking on through. Already, just by clicking X399, I already boosted up to 2590. Um, okay, let's keep going. There's our promotion, which you can see right there. Ground shipping and the external SSD. Standard orientation, no VR panel, RGB lighting. Um, in this pro in the pro side, we don't actually have the Corsair fan, so the computer we're building today is a very special case. Quite literally. Uh, we'll add the uh, Supernova G3, black cables, there's the MSI one, system cooling 360, there it is, the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX32 core, and that's adding 1,335. Click. All right, there you go. Thermal compound and the GPU, Radeon 7. So I'm getting already past my ballpark. <clears throat> so we're past that. And again, if you're probably wondering, why is it so expensive? It's the CPU. Friends, it's the CPU. Uh, no, it's one graphics card. Let's go to the RAM. Okay, so we're... Unfortunately, we can't get that weird 2933 one. So we'll go ahead and stick to this one. Um, actually, no. We should probably go to the 8 gigabyte one. Or the 4 times 8 because it's 4 RAM 6. And then SSD, we have one of these, and then another one over here, and there you go. $5,135 on OriginPC.com. I know, you guys are going to go on PC Park and go, like, I can build a PC for cheaper. You are completely correct. You are not wrong. And I'm not going to be like, you're wrong, man. We're cheaper here. No, no, no. The real That's a reality. It's a fact. Being super transparent. You are completely correct. But do you get the origin piece support so let's say something happens to your pc typically they don't but you know stuff happens you have a support team that's based in the us let me go ahead and jump over to the support site 365 days a year 24 7 us based customer support and of course we'll take care of you that's the difference man that is the origin difference as we like to call it here we'll take care of you that's the key thing we always make sure everyone's happy Anyways, back to answering questions. I'm no longer looking at the right side of the screen showing you all the cool stuff. And of course, we can also do customization, but we're on the pro side. You can do customization on pro too. Let me go ahead and pull that up too. Um, hold on. Oh, it's not updated. Hold on. Um, you can check that out on our site as well. We like to share. If you check our Instagram, we actually post custom systems as well. We do laser etching, HD UV printing on the panels, and custom paint too. How are you, Lewis? I'm doing great. Thank you very much, Ivo. Let's go ahead and keep looking up. How much does it cost? I answered your question. For around 5000 mm -mm 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 -mm. The LDs are a little logic board. Yeah, does it include a monitor? The RPCs do not include monitors. You have to get them separately. And keyboard and mouse. You have to get them those separately. Can you show me a good picture of HP? No, 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 no HP here, friend. Uh, 
What happened to Kuzi? Kuzi is in a very far away land doing lots of very cool stuff. He's doing great. We know he's, he's doing, doing great. Fantastic. <clears throat> I think it's not in our, uh, we're not about to say. PJ, can you turn your mic on and off again? Sorry. Gosh, Danish. Sorry, sorry. We might have to replace the battery soon. How are we doing? Better. That's better. Yeah, going back to the the price PJ point thing. Looks a bit like King, so I have no idea who that is. <laughs> I don't know if that's good. Or you bad. don't want to. <laughs> Keepstar is a character, man. He's a character. Okay, I think I've caught up with all the questions. Oh, here we go. Question: <laughs> Is an Intel Pentium Four Five Sixteen overclockable? I don't. Off the top of my head, I don't think that one is, and I'm not sure if you want to, especially considering its age. Um, I would be careful, especially overclocking old CPUs is a very risky thing because you might break them if you're not careful. Of course, you want to have the right motherboard too. Okay. All right, so PJ's gonna go take a quick break. Let me mute him. Bye, PJ. So he's gone in the second camera. All right, so hit me your questions, guys. Well, actually, in the meantime, we'll go over ahead and go over what's happening at Origin PC. I know we just went to the website, but we do have our April promo currently running where you can get free US ground shipping and a free external SSD. It's 256 gigabytes. Um, it's pretty good to store media, games, um, or if you want to use it for your console. I know I, that's actually I, I got one a uh, while ago or two years ago from the company. I actually won a costume contest and I got the SSD as a prize, and I've been using it for my console because like the fast storage is good for console. We can also use it for the computer too, not for games though, for, mainly for media. Uh, our RTS systems are still on sale, surprisingly. We are actually really close to pulling it up, but then all of a sudden we're like, hey, we got some more. Um, you can check that at originpc.com. Our Neuron, that's one of our desktop models, starts at 1499 And again, this is ready to ship, so these systems are already pre-built. You can't fully customize it like you can on the site. And they ship within one to three, one to two business days. So this is a good entry-level Origin PC if you want to check that out. And on the laptop side for the RTS systems, we have the Eon 15S laptop with GTX graphics. I think the highest on that one, I can tell you right now. I'm looking it up. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to remember the Eon 15S. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 1060 GPU. That's what the Eon 15S has. Uh, this week, guys, we're actually extremely busy with uh, streams, and you can check them out uh, across all our streaming platforms. All right, we have a, another live build. So if you liked what you saw today, we're going to do another live build on Wednesday for our gaming PC because we do gameplay streams here at Origin PC um, and we wanted to upgrade our PC to play the latest and greatest without having to pull PCs from the back. So this is our PC that we can do whatever we want with. Not blow it up though. On Thursday we're going to be building a desktop for Chase Gilroy, a vlogger on YouTube, and on Friday we're going to be playing Dead Cells. And hopefully those of you in Twitch, because Dead Cells has Twitch integration, you can actually interact with the game via Twitch. So. Yeah, you can. You can mess around with it. What do you need? Oh, you have to turn on your mic. BJ's making noises, guys. There you go. All right. What do you mean? What do I mean? What do you mean? So you can make it harder or easier for the, the player. So you can, like, give the player health or take it away. Oh, so I can make your life like a living hell yes. while you're playing that game. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. So our Evo, we're actually giving away a laptop. If you're watching on Cypes Channel, you can check these out. I believe we have someone watching on Cypes Channel, maybe? Um, I don't know if we're allowed to put, post links, but if you go to originpc.com slash PewDiePie, you can actually sign up for a chance to win an Evo 16S laptop. Um, we announced our winner for Neuron last Friday, but this winner announcement for this laptop is going to be in the end of May. Um, so you can go check that out at originpc.com slash PewDiePie. We also have two, count two, GPU giveaways, one with Burke Black. For NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, so you can sign up for that one at originpc.com slash Black, and one with Timac. Again, exact same GPU, and two different very cool streamers. 
And of course, finally, I know you guys over in uh, Scythe Channel and our channels as well have donated so much during the stream. Again, thank you guys so much. I didn't think we'd like hit these goals all day, but we did it. And again, thank you guys so much. Um, Bit.ly slash OPC play live. Make sure the OPC is capital and the P at play and the L in live. You can do, if you actually, if you're in Twitch, if you type exclamation point St. Jude and in Mixer, in uh, the Origin PC Mixer, um, you can get the link via that manner. PJ's back, and he's working on it. Um, I believe he's working on the fans. Yeah, I'm having the frostbite already. Frostbite and the fans. And these are the RGB Corsair fans. Yeah, this is the best part. So, PJ loves the fans. I'm a fan of the fans. Fan of the fans? Still, just still... Uh, Mind boggled, like why it needs 50 zillion cables. What? That's the that? way they work, man. A billion other cables. That, other than that, I work with them, man. I work with them. All right, I think the music's pre yeah, it's pretty low. Okay, so we're good. I was worried the music was overpowering, but it's not. <laughs> Let's see what what is happening here. Overall, this stream has been incredible. Again, donation-wise, I'm looking here at the numbers, and we did extremely, extremely well this stream. Thank you, everyone, for watching, for donating, for just participating in general. I appreciate all the the comments and questions. So, again, I'm watching Syph. I'm watching your channel, which has us on it, and I'm watching our chats as well on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. I'm sorry, Twitter. I'm sorry. Let me get, let me get Facebook up in here. Because Facebook, poor Facebook, let me check. Hmm, let me turn off the drill here. Always trying to quiet, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to silence PJ. I'm robbing him of his voice. It's because of the, the drill. Always trying to silence you. You can, you can kind of hear him in the background. <clears throat> oh, there we are. We're on Facebook. Hey. Hey guys, I see you Facebook guys. The problem is that Facebook chat is just, it doesn't have a good integration with um, with Restream, which is what we use for our streams. And the other problem is that the comments, you can't tell what's the most recent one too, which is annoying. That's why I really like the everything else. Why is it quiet? Monster Cat, what'd you happen? All right, hopefully, I'm going to refresh. Hopefully, Monster Cat does not turn our voice into robots. Please let us know if we turn into robots. Am I a robot? Am I a robot? Am I a robot? You are a robot. I am a robot. Nope, that's an ad. <laughs> no, I'm not a robot. Good. That's what I like to hear. Because sometimes things happen. Nope, it's just really quiet right now. PJ's... Putting in uh, the literal top touches of the PC with the Corsair RGB fans. Much robot. Uh oh. Am I a robot? Am I a robot? What's the trade in value for an Origin t shirt? Uh. I don't know. All right, music's back. All right, hopefully I'm not a robot. I think so. No? Okay, good. Hmm. It looks like we're lagging on the Facebook stream. Yeah, we're lagging pretty bad on the Facebook stream. Let me see here. You know what it probably is? Because I'm... Let me lower that quality. Let me lower this quality. Lower this quality. There you go, that's a little better. Okay. Yeah, we're live on all these platforms. You're all good here. Perfect. Thank you, Ghost Muffin. Greatly appreciate it. Again, because sometimes we've had issues where I mess with the music, and then all of a sudden, everything goes haywire. And I know it's not the bitrate, because we lowered the bitrate, because originally we had it pretty high, but we lowered it. So...
You can readjust the table. That is correct. Again, that's our special table. We're not going to offer that anytime soon. But, but there are so many tables out there you can get. Um, they're very cool. And actually, they're really useful for PC building. Uh -oh. My table. It's Mine. His, yeah, you can't take PJ's table. My he, table. Because he upgraded from like a foldable table where he had to oh sit down. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I had one of those... One of those wholesale stores fold up tables and then I walk in here one day and I have this and I was like, oh, ah. yeah, he, PJ got an upgrade. They love me. They really like me. That was product group. So you can send all the thank you to Hernan and the boys. I like ham. Cool. Make an origin phone. Razor has a phone. Nah. The phone business is crazy, man. You got to update every year. Like Samsung has to update. Apple updates all the time. Nah. I'm happy with PC gaming. <laughs> Where are we at? Where are we at? <laughs> Speaking Does of... I know that's what dining room tables are for? Yeah, so... I built my share of dining room table builds. Dining room tables. That's what I do. <laughs> If I'm at home, I need to upgrade my computer. I take it out of my room and put it on a dining table and, you know, clean it out or do all that fun stuff. Got a couple of live builds on a dining room table. It's no big deal. So we were talking about RTX earlier. <laughs> Actually, Nvidia made a post on Twitter talking about RTX and Minecraft. How funny. <laughs> People are saying, wait, that's illegal. <laughs> the red versus blue reference. It's pretty funny. So there is RTX in Minecraft. So if you're interested, in, and I know the AMD GPs can support it too. You just have to, you know, the, it's the coding. So funny, funny stuff. And who would have thought? Like you know, we're talking about games that have RTX, like Battlefield and um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Metro, Minecraft, Minecraft. Hmm. Anyways. Where's the thing you place the tower to spin it? Um, now he has a giant. So the, uh, that's called his lazy Susan. Um, PJ sometimes likes, we like to use a lazy Susan for showing off the PC, but not necessarily for building. Cause sometimes it's, it, it moves. So it's good and bad. So PJ prefers having the mouse pad cause it doesn't move as much. Can you tell me how to tell which direction to install the fans? So PJ, do you have any extra spare fans? Because sometimes the fans actually tell you where the, the air blows through, depending on the kind of fans you I'm have. I'm sorry. Uh, my apologies. It was, I didn't hear you. What did you say? Um, how can you tell the direction in which to install the fans? Um, based Again, on, it's based on tests with, with the product group. Product group is based on it. Like, you know, you, you want to like, you want to disperse the heat as easily as possible. So in this no, case, but like if someone wanted to install fans on their computer, how would you do it? I would, I mean, depending on the size of the case and where you have the frostbite, I mean, if you have the, fr if you have your cooler at the top, I would suggest intaking it and then blowing it out the back. Mm -hmm. If you have them out the front, I would intake them and blow all your fans out the front. And then I would turn them around. If you don't have a radiator at the top, you don't, you know, you, you, I would pull the air. I would turn them around and have the air blowing out the top if the heat rises. Mm -hmm. so also, it, there's... It, 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 it just it varies on your orientation setup on your build. Yeah. And also, again, like I said, the fans themselves usually have an arrow pointing it to so where the air is blowing to. Um, you want to check that. Um, and of course, like PJ just mentioned, again, depends how your build is set up. And there's also guides online that show you like different methods of like fan blowing and some that are good for performance, some that like cause more. It's a little bit more technical. We can find that information online. PJ is doing it this way because we have the radar up top. So. Uh, sing the Tetris theme. Okay, I'll do it. But that's the reason I'm gonna do it is not because of you. It's because I'm doing it for the kids. So if I do this Tetris theme, that means I expect to see at least one Tiltify donation during this. So Scythe, I'm sorry, I'm gonna torture your community with a horrible rendition of the Tetris theme. I'm gonna go ahead and mute uh, the music here. PJ, you ready? No. <laughs> Never ready. <clears throat> God, can I have some headphones, please? What? <clears throat> what are you putting me through this for? You see, you're speaking to a Tetris master. I know how to T spin. I know how to triple T spin. <clears throat> I, if I had a piano, I could probably do it too. But here we go. 
Bum 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 Hey Bum 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 Bom 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 bom. Let's speed it up. Bom 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 no tiltifies. Come on. At least $1. I got at least $1 for that one. That was good. Uh, I did slip a little bit, but it's tricky when you go fast. So. Love from Estonia. Love from the Miami, Florida. I was expecting a screech, but this is fine. <laughs> yeah, I prefer to go with like a baritone style thing. Cause I don't like the bing, 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 bing. No, 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 no. Free word. How do I identify which direction the fan pulls? Yeah, again, it depends on the fan. I mean, you could. What you could also do um, is, if you have a PC already built, is you can plug in the fan yourself. Like if there's a PCR, you can plug into your fan or into a, a motherboard. If there's no like direction, you can feel where the air is blowing. Um, that's a little bit more. Again, not many people have can have pieces. We can do it here, but again, oh, up oh, there it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. See, I expected like, that. That's awesome. You got to do the goofy stuff to get the uh, Mr. J five dollars. Greatly appreciate it. I hope it was a Tetris theme that did it. <laughs> so. Make Everybody PJ wants to rap. think it's their singing that did it, alright, Lewis? Hey, man. <laughs> hey. 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 Which singing did you in? Another Tiltify donation for the kids. Richie Evans. For Tetris. For the kids. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. J. Thank you, Richie Evans, for your donations. Hashtag for the kids. Any tips on building my first PC? Um, PJ, I'll let you go first and I can follow up with that. Any tips? Confidence on your parts that you're building? Make sure you don't... Don't be scared of what you're going to do because if you do, you're liable to break something. Uh... I, 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 I want to say... It's really hard to explain. <laughs> it's not hard to explain. It's easy to do, but hard to explain to somebody else. I could show you. It's easy for me to show you. But I'm that guy that's going to be like, oh, here, this is what you're supposed to do. Hey, get out of the way. Let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, me. that's me. So my advice, oh, before I get to my advice. But definitely patience is the first thing, man. You cannot be in a rush when you're doing this stuff. If you're in a 100% rush and you're trying to get it done super fast, you're liable to mess something up or break it. Just take your time on what you're doing. Three dollar so, donation from Quab. Thank you very much, Quab. Patience is key. Hashtag for the kids. And my advice is to do a bunch of resource from trusted sources. Um, I think our our, our live builds are a good uh, guide, but the problem with our live builds is we use specific parts, so it's not the parts that you're using. Uh -huh. So you can look and see, you know, how to install air cooling fans, for example. Um, builds with the case that you're using. Um. Of course, you know, look how, how they do it, the wiring. Um, for I think for a lot of us here, we think that the part that takes the most time is, or that it's not that we think, it does, is the uh, wiring. Because um, you don't want a rat's nest, or what, is it bird's nest or rat's, rats nest? Rat's bird's nest, nest. bird's nest, dude. They Whatever, like basically, the your cables are in a mess, and they cause a whole bunch of heating or cooling issues as well. You're restricting airflow in the system yep. when, you're just, when you're just throwing stuff together. Yep, I remember the pre-built case. I think nowadays some pre-builds are okay, but um, I remember I had a pre-built that uh, the if you open up the case, 
all the cables were like just jumbled up and you can tell they tried but they could have done a better job so actually i myself had to like unwire like you know clean it up tweak it up yourself because yeah. so it's just horrible suits you. so okay when no one donates feel bad tetris seemed to the rescue money pj's mic is all scuffed you know i think i think it could be the batteries we're probably have to invest in some high quality batteries rechargeable batteries yeah that's the thing your your mic's going in and out are these batteries here good um go ahead and try them all right i'm muting pj because he's gonna go ahead and replace the battery pack um ba -ba 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 -ba. what's the best way to clean the inside of your cpu all right he's tossing them um so there's different methods of course but you want a, what acid mm -hmm. um you can, that's easy. no no don't do use acid do not use acid on your cpu <laughs> that is a very bad idea i was just saying acid in the from the battery hold on speak speak yeah that's better it's better yeah For now just let me know all right so bj clean up a cpu how would you how do you do it how do i clean up a cpu yeah the in, like wait wait hold on Ahmed, can a you a little bit of a little bit of rubbing alcohol? Yeah, I would say I was gonna say rubbing alcohol, but like a pinch, just to a pinch and then you rubbing wipe alcohol it. and a clean a clean little piece of paper towel is gonna be fine. Yeah, and then you wipe off the, the, the thermal, thermal paste. paste. Yeah, and you put new thermal paste and then you know cool it. Too late, use acid. <laughs> I was talking about the acid from the battery and the battery and the and the pack whatever. Don't use acid. I really like you guys. Thank you very much, Daniel. I really like you. I like you. You're crazy, man. <laughs> data vac. Yeah, actually, I was going to say, um, but the thing is, I think that question. So data vac is awesome for dust. That thing can clear out everything. I was thinking about buying one myself, um, especially after if I get a new PC or a new case setup. Um, because that stuff I've seen it and it's co it costs pretty money, but it really does a good job at clearing out your PC with dust. And everyone's saying to use acid on your CPU. Don't do it. I said no. <laughs> I was talking about the acid. Moratic pool acid. Oh my gosh. That's it. We're just using pool acid. I was not that acid was not a reference, anyways. Talking about even out of context, like words. Because I'm talking about the answer, and then I just look at the thing. And I said acid. <laughs> Because the the battery pa or the thing that holds the batteries, there was a little bit of acid in there. Five hundred terabytes. That's a lot of terabytes. What? We're not at that level yet. Not about that life. Uh, we we'll have no better. Which is better, uh, GT seven thirty or GTX four sixty? Um, compare the two GPUs. Um, if you Google comparing the two GPs, you can actually see the benchmark. There's some websites actually compare the benchmarks, and they can tell you like which one is better. Can I get a 500 terabyte SSD? Whoa, man, you need to calm down. I want a 500 terabyte SSD. If I got that, <laughs> if I had a 500 terabyte SSD, it'd be, it'd be good right now. That's a lot. They want you to beatbox for the kids. <laughs> That's more like an electronic techno dance. Oh. Well, sorry, I don't know. How to, I'm not a beatbox. All right. Sydney saying you know how to beatbox. Sydney says I know how to beatbox. Well, Sydney does a great impression of Batman. Yeah, she goes like, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> I just want to try playing on a NASA supercomputer one Dude, day. It's so I don't funny. think NASA would let you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the guys in NASA do have computers of themselves at home. Um, so. Are you do a GPU plug in top of case cable? What? Can you reword your question? Please. I'm trying to interpret it, but I can't. Let's check Facebook. How's Facebook doing? God in heaven, make him stop. I'm assuming you're talking about my Tetris singing. It's probably the Tetris singing. 
<laughs> Facebook. Oh, Facebook. I love you guys. I have to peek in my head in the Facebook chat because unfortunately, again, the system isn't set up. I can see the entire Facebook feed. I can only see Mixer, Twitch, and uh, YouTube. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you Gamers Nexus? No, I'm not. <laughs> Gamers Nexus, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I am not. Number one. Gamers Nexus is great, though. His hair is longer than mine. For sure. Is this being timed? It is not. But we try to aim to do these live builds within two hours. No pressure, PJ. Yeah. I love it when you guys tell me that. No pressure. No pressure. But no pressure. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to fall around and win. Hey, that's not how the song goes. Is that a... Uh, are we getting Ricky rolled? No, that's not even how the song is. Never gonna that run that game. Never gonna be in that place. Never what? <laughs> Where is he reading from? I'm reading from Restream Chat. So in Restream, uh, it supports like and read YouTube. I can read Twitch. I can read Mixer. So I'm reading all you guys at the same time. Um, I also have Scythe screen on my left, so I can read what's happening over in the Scythe stream, and I can also see what's happening on Facebook and to do how much is the Threadripper so on our side it's a an extra thousand three hundred and thirty five individually I want to say it's a thousand I don't know how much amazon.com <laughs> search uh, AMD Threadripper 29 Hold up. Okay, so Amazon's selling it for $1,729. That's how much the threader per CPU is. It's a lot. It's a lot of money, man. It's a lot of money. But it's a very powerful CPU. This is one of the top ones. So 32 cores. That's a lot of cores. Cores light. Threader is that part of the build? What are the specs? Oh, man. This is a perfect segue into the specs. The Millennium Desktop for Scythe. 1,000 watt EVGA Supernova G3 power supply. That's a lot of power. EVGA black sleeve cables. MSI X39 Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, which PJ has already mounted into the case. Frostbite 360 all-in-one cooler, which has also been mounted as well. Corsair RGB Premium Fans, which I believe PJ is currently working on. Mm -hmm. The AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX uh, CPU with 3.0 gigahertz normal and 4.2 gigahertz max boost. And again, this is 32 cores. I didn't emphasize this because that's not normal. Normally, CPUs have like about four cores, six cores, eight cores. Nowadays, like the top ones have eight cores. This thing has 32. That's so many cores. I don't know what to do with that much. It's crazy. Uh, for the GPU, we have the 16 gigabytes HBM2 AMD Radeon 7 GPU. Very cool. It's just released over CES. 32 gigabytes of 2933 megahertz RAM. Origin PC approved. Specifically, that's Hyper X RAM. If you're wondering what's or it's Origin PC, it's Hyper X RAM. Uh, and then two SSDs from Seagate. So one of them is a 500 gigabyte SSD and one terabyte SSD. Of course, wooden crate armor, warranty plus lifetime 24 7 US based support. So if anything happens, our support team's always on standby and they will help you no matter what. <laughs> of course, if the parts are there, there's a more technicality with that, but they will help you. That's what they're there for. And lifetime free labor and Windows 10. There's your specs. And if you want to see the specs, they're also scrolling right below. Uh, that one, this one right here, down. Price, we did price it out. It's about 5,100 something on our site. Again, me and remind you guys, you're probably thinking, well, that's a lot of money. Which you're, cur you know, you're correct. And you're probably thinking, oh, I could do build it myself cheaper. You can, you absolutely can, but you don't get the origin support the service make sure that's built you know the right way there's no issues and if there are we will take care of it all so just you know clearing it up the air because i know people always like to say oh i can do it myself here you can by all means if you want to do it pff, we're not stopping you <laughs> you can go ahead and do it and actually we i even openly suggest if you want to do it yourself do it yourself you learn something so 
But then you want to have people like PJ here build your computer with taking the time, the wiring, and then after the fact, you know, the support to the end. So check it. Okay. Let's see. What do we got over here? Lots of uh things happening in the Scythe stream. I see lots of doggos with the sparks. A lot of doggos. Doggo. Has the Jacksepticeye giveaway started? No. There is no giveaway. Is there a giveaway? No, there isn't. XO, we try XO fame got the right got, got the right uh, idea. If something goes wrong, we blame PJ. That's a good idea. That's a good point. Always. I'm gonna swap cameras because this one actually can see the wiring a little bit better here. Um. Blah, 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 blah. Hi, Shepard won the Pewds giveaway. That's correct. I'll show it to you guys again. I'm, I made a cool video for it too. We're not gonna show it in this stream, but there's your winner. If you were wondering, that's who won. Fun facts. Back to the build. Hey, with the Origin Neuron, is it possible to get RGB fans on the Frostbite cooling? Off the top of my head, I th yeah. think you can, right? I'm going to check the site, though, because sometimes, you know, the site, like, we th we do it, but on the site, it could be different. I always like to check to confirm. It's making a build quickly here. I'm pretty sure we do. Again, the RGB, yes, we do. It's a premium option. Hence, premium fans. There's some crazy music happening right now with Monster Cat. I can hear it. <laughs> Lobo Gaming 52 says, PJ, that water bottle does not hold enough liquid refreshment to keep you building. You need a 72 ounce Bubba keg. You want to? Uh, hey, I'm down for donations. You want to hook me up with one? I will sit here and I'll chug that sucker all day. My lot of water. And a Tiltify donation has entered the arena. Dr. iHacker. Come on, Scythe is one of the hosts, hum humble. Is, Scythe is one of the most humble, kind-hearted, and generous guys I've had the pleasure of getting to know. Best of luck in reaching your goal for the kids. Hashtag pay it forward. Thank you very much, Dr. iHacker, with your $5 donation for the kids. Hashtag for the kids. Again, you guys have done... You guys are great. Um, I know that we have our community that are, are watching us, but again, uh, Scythe and your community, thank you guys so much for guys. donating on the stream. Because I know you guys don't normally watch us. You know, we do our thing, and we post it on our social channels. So thank you for, you know, hosting us and Narr narr or commentating, I believe that's what you're doing. So, thank you very much. And a prime subscription has also entered the fray. Scott Pra for 49 months. Thank you very much for the resubscription for the kids. Hashtag for the kids. This para is los a, niños. Para los niños. Para ya los need niños. some G fuel. I remember no. G Fuel sent us a bunch of G Fuel no, one time. I want G Fuel again, dude. Oh, man. That 24 hour live stream when I had to do that G Fuel, it did not do the entire oh, thing. Oh, man. As soon as I tried to swallow it, it was like swallowing sand. Ooh. And. No good. No, I'm never ever doing that again. Yeah, nope. <laughs> nope. 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 That's stuck. Why does this feel faster than the Jacksepticeye build? It's not. It's about the same time timing, I think. Uh, we're about an hour and a half in. Yeah. This is a Ryzen thread for 29. It's a 929. I would say, if I oh. had to be fair, why does it feel a little bit faster? It's because I don't have to tuck any of the cables behind the motherboard. The neuron itself doesn't have a back door. So with the back door, I have no place to like, to you know, to tie or wire anything up. I have to actually hold, maybe screw half the section of the motherboard in so I give it a little flex, tuck the cables behind it, and then once I have the cables tucked in, then I can screw the motherboard down. But I have to work everything into the front of the case. This makes it a little bit easier. Now I got I got a playground back here. Mm -hmm. So I would say if that that's probably the reason why I felt like we were you know a little bit faster, because the, the neurons aren't the neurons aren't something per se that you can build super fast. You can, but again, you're just not gonna look fantastic, and you don't want that. Nobody wants that. So I would say yeah, it's a little bit faster. But again, I'm not rushing at 100 miles an hour. I, I want this to be a a good job. Good job. Good job. Hmm. 
Where are we at here? Let me go check the chats. Check the chat. I'm just checking everyone, making sure that uh, there's no questions. I know people like to send their questions. They're like, oh, you missed my question. I'm like, hey, man, time's moving pretty fast. I try to answer everyone's question. I'm only one guy. Hmm. Does the Origin logo have LEDs? So the logo itself on the front of the case does not have LEDs. The way it works is a little lighting system. Um, PJ could probably show it near the end. Um, but there's a light on the top and then the logos here i hope i'm doing a good demonstration the light aims down and there's a little mirror correct me if i'm wrong pj there's a little you're mirror. wrong hey man you're I was wrong like, what you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to make a whole uh portal into another dimension um the light shines down into the mirror and then it goes up into the o to create a the light I'm effect. Take the door off the PJ's gonna show you. I'm here talking, talking about all this hoopla, but he's just gonna show you. The left camera's on. Uh, oh, now you don't want to come off, Mr. Door. There you go. Oh, uh, uh, he's gonna. So, hold on, let me go to the other camera. Yeah. No. Under the front of the case of the front door, there's an RGB light right here. Yeah, so there's a light there. And under that RGB light is our front door with our logo. There's a logo. There's a mirror here that reflects the RGB light onto our Frost logo, and that's what lets it. There you go. Emit all the cool little. That's how it works. RGB functions that you guys like oh so much. Crucian Gaming in the house. Hello, no Crucian. way. What up, Crucian? Yeah, see, there he is. AMD build. Oh! Oh, PogChamp. <laughs> oh! Is it possible to upgrade the processor in a laptop? Uh, depends on the laptop you that, have. Some exactly of them are say. changeable, but most of them aren't. The, uh, the CPU and GPU are integrated into the motherboard itself. Of course, it depends on the laptop. Our, actually, our laptops, our Eon 17X, it does support upgradability. Um, however, you can only so you actually upgrade the lap, the CPU and the GPU, but you can only upgrade it to the best in that class. So let's say you got an i5 CPU in your Eon 17X. Let me go ahead and show that. So these laptops you can, but the majority of laptops, I'm going to say like 95 or 98 percent of the laptops on the market, you cannot upgrade. But this is one of the few that you can actually upgrade because um, of the uh, chassis design. Unfortunately, we don't have internal shots here. Um, but you can replace the uh, CPU and the GPU on this laptop. But again, you only upgrade it to the best in this class. So this is the 20 series. So if you got a 2060 for this laptop, you can eventually upgrade it to a 2080. If you got an i9, or if you got an i5, you can upgrade to an i9, ninth gen. You can only upgrade to the best in this class. I know there are some laptops that do support cross-generation upgrades, um, but this one you cannot but you have to you have to check you have to always check which ones you can upgrade but for this one you can always get to the max of that generation i hope that answered that question who is hyped for ryzen third generation we are of course we always we're always day and date with any of our partners and amd's one of our you know one of our partners so we're definitely when this the second that happens we're gonna be there we're gonna see on our social media Ryzen 3rd Gen, available now, but it's not available now. It's, and we're just saying that whenever it does come out, we're going to be there. How you doing today? Chat, how you doing? Oh. Well, I'm doing great, Christian. I think Chat's doing great. You ugly, bro. Didn't I? I built Christian's PC not too long ago, didn't I? Bro. How's your PC running, Christian? <laughs> Do you guys know the official date yet? Um, No. If we did, we can't tell you. <laughs> What's up, guys? All right, let's see what the other chats are up to. Are the side plates going to have a Scythe logo? Not that I know of, but we'll have to check in with the team. Because I don't have all the information. They don't give me all the information. I ask for all the information. I don't get all the information. And that's nicely too. Please give me all the information. And they're like, no, we're not going to give it to you. Thanks. 
It's not like we're running a stream or something where people are asking no big deal. questions. Right, PJ? It's no big deal. No, it's not a big deal. Nah, who cares? How long does it take or does it take long to build it? So for us, I mean, PJ can actually go probably super fast, but we like to do them for two hours because um, we like to do it extremely fancy to show off the wiring and treat it nice. But if you want a rush job build, we can do it pretty fast. This is going to look different. I'd rather not. And of course, we, we don't want to do that. We never want to do that. And rush or no. If you're by, doing it by yourself, then, you know, rush it by all means. <clears throat> Super. I would say just put together, put, I would say put the system together is and not worry so much about the cable management when you're first learning. Uh, and once you get you're answering the cable it, management question, right? Uh, and yeah. You said, yeah and okay. Once you get familiar with what it is you're doing, take it back apart, put it back together again. If you're not satisfied with the way the wiring came out, take it back apart and put it back together again. Yep. It it's takes true. time, man. You can't just go, I'm going to take two hours and do this just like the origin guys. No, it's not that easy. Uh, PJ has years of experience, so you that's why he's able to, it, dude. You can't rush it. to do it. Because now for me, when I started, oh man, it takes forever. So. All those zippies. Zippy, zippy, zippy. You're still using the April Fool zip ties? I could, but I'm, okay. I'm going to save them for specific builds because... Okay. I like the the last one I did on Friday. I used the red ones. Yeah, it actually came out pretty good. Use red zippies. Looking around in all of our platforms. Will there be a capture card in this system? Currently in the specs that we have, or that no. were given to me? No. The answer is no. But you can always add one. Um, there's still PCIe slots open in the PC, so you can always upgrade and add more stuff. You can add a PCIe SSD, um, PCIe capture card. More PCIe drives. Sound card, more drives, yeah, sound card. There's plenty of space to That's the thing with our computers like. is uh, sometimes people are like, oh, you can't upgrade the computer. And, we're not like that. We actually welcome the idea of, you know, upgrading your PC, what, adding more drives, upgrading the RAM, upgrading the GPU. Like, your PC is meant to last a very long time. It's not like a console or something that you pick up and you get rid of. This is like a very long commitment. It's an investment, man. You don't mm -hmm. want to sit there and buy it and spend thousands of dollars into something that you're going to turn around and be like, oh, i got to get a new one next yep. year because mm -mm. it's got the newness out and my computer doesn't hold all that newness. Like, my computer I've had since 2000 and... Hold on, let me confirm. I think it's 14. So, mine has been an investment, for sure. I've gotten my money out of it. I can tell Same you case, but you keep on upgrading the internal. Oh, correct? yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. <clears throat> Cleaning up, making sure... Treating it nice. So, I don't, like, leave dust to build up. Oh, gosh, no. Ah! Heck no. Take care of it. How long have you been doing this? Me? I don't know. A while. PJ has been doing it for a while too. I started here in 2013. Me was 2016. I've been doing the live builds for like 2014. Yep. 2015. So for the. I've been doing it for a while. The system board is for Scythe, the one of the world's greatest mixer streamers. Shout out to Scythe and his community over watching. They're actually watching us right now. I can see it. I can see it right now. I can see me watching. This, this is streamception happening over here. I'm going to stop doing that. It's really weird to. Uh, who are you? Who, 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 who? I really want to know. No, you don't. <laughs> Sorry. Every time I see that question, I just think of that song, man. When I build a, uh, this is from Facebook. When I build a new setup, I always take my time, but I don't need to rush anything. And building the PC is half the fun. It's Tell true. Tell Nano she needs to be doing these live builds. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where is Brian? Brian is a very sick, and we wish him to get well very soon. So. You. My boy is sick. Brian, get better. What happened again? Did the music stop? Yeah, the music stopped. All right, robot. I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. Please. 
Please don't turn me into a robot. I uh, no. Is this an ad or is this music? Music. Good. I miss Brian. Hey, man. We all miss Brian. Do you or do you plan to offer custom hard tube water loops? We already do. We already do. So if you go, uh, I have to demonstrate again. Okay. So it's kind of hidden. Not really too hidden, but I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to get a hard, or hard tube water cooling. So if you go to originpc.com, you go to the the desktops that we actually support hardtube. It's not the Millennium. You're probably thinking, like, oh, this is Millennium. No, no, no. Genesis. And that's the one you'll be looking at. You're probably thinking the Genesis. That right there, friends, is the Genesis. You can actually see the hard. This is a soft tube. So this is the wrong sample. But you can add hardtube or hardline. We call it hardline. So keep going, keep going. Go ahead and add an AMD one. We do support hardline with AMD, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And a Tiltify donation. Let me get to the Tiltify donation before I get to the hard line. Slim Griffin or Griffin. I'm going to go with Griffin. Fashag for the kids. Thank you again? very much, Slim. Yeah. Didn't he just donate yeah. again? Yeah. My man. My man. All right. Back at it over here. So we'll go ahead and pick this power supply. And the cooling, there's your magic right here. Okay, so it seems a little daunting. Another, oh, here it comes. Here they come. Where are we at? Scythe! PJ, you ready for this number? Huh? $250. No. I'm sorry I'm spiking. From Scythe. Yay, PC hype. Scythe. You, you got to eat the poop like 10 times now. <laughs> you better start shoving poop oh. down your mouth. <laughs> eat the poop. Ew, oh my gosh. Eat Scythe, the poop for the Scythe. kids. You beast. Incredible, incredible donation. Already pushing up the entire goal. I, I saw the bar move. Because I was like, that's a big... I, like, hold on. Like, I, I refresh. I'm like, that's a lot of money. It's like, there it is. I'm not hungry. Oh, I guess I am now. For the poop. GG. GG's all around. All hail that unicorn poop. Haha. <laughs> unicorn poop. Well, we'll get to the unicorn poop soon enough. I was going to the cooling here, which actually I've been on, I've been like dwelling here, but you can see it right here. Um, so there's three different stages of liquid cooling. Actually, if you hit learn more, it even tells you like more information about it. So stage three is the hardline liquid cooling. So it's a little confusing. I don't think, I don't think it's confusing, but if you see it says for standard fans. So actually we have different ones for the RGB fans. So in this case that we're building right now, it's standard. So you want to pick the stage three for standard fans for standard inverted. So you pick that right here. There it is. Right, this is liquid cooling. Hardline. There you go. Hardline's an extra. Yeah, there you go. So hardline is. Oh, I, hold on. Yeah. Uh, now, now it's getting angry at me because the thing is we picked the tubing. So let me change that. There you go. So there we go. Okay. So there it is. So there's the hardline cooling. This is again base. So if you really want hardline cooling, it's available on the Genesis. All right, let's get out of here. Or, as I like to call it, the Genesis. That's not how you call it. Again, thank you very much, Saif. Just totally flexing with a crazy, crazy good donation for the Children of St. Jude. Hashtag for the kids. And in honor of that donation, now I have to hold up my end of the bargain. This thing. It's a poo. And wrapping. We'll go ahead and wrap and we'll eat one. It's been scythe approved. <laughs> a scythe approved. I have to do it. Or at Origin PC, this is going to use the ICU software. It should because this is the Corsair one, right? Well, let me confirm with you. Oh, I see. I'll do it with him. Do Come it on. with him. Look, look, look. Yeah, it is. It's because. Oh, look, PJ's going to eat one too. All right. Hey, this is like a regular marshmallow. <laughs> oh, damn it. I, we told you it's it's like a Lucky Charms like it's someone took the Lucky Charms or like a unicorn ate a whole bunch of Lucky Charms marshmallows and then made this thing. That's what it is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> PJ's face. I don't like these guys. I don't like them. I did it with him because it's for the kids. But that was. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Now, don't throw up, EJ. Evo Cyber Nation. I mean, no one's, you know, no one's putting a gun to your head to keep watching, you know, so. <laughs> hmm. All right, all right. Now, where did I, where was I? I need water. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Can I someone bring Lewis in agua? I, I have water. See? Water. I need that. But yeah, that's correct. This that's um because we are using the Corsair fans, um it'll need that software. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Can someone ordering PC elect to have it built on stream? Currently, the answer is no. And the reason for that was a long, long time ago. In a faraway land. In a faraway <laughs> land in this very channel. Mr. Koozie Mr. slipped Koo up. Yeah, he was like, he, it was one of the first live builds. He's like, oh man, you guys love these live builds? Guess what? All you have to do is just tell your sales rep and they're like, I want a live build. What happened was not very surprising. Was that multiple people asked for their live builds to happen, and a lot of people, so many people asked for live builds that it would have been backed up for like six months. Put it this way: if we were still doing that right now, we would still, we would be, still be doing, yeah, live, still be doing builds live builds from people who requested live builds to be done. Yep. From way back when, so we'd so, still be putting 7700Ks and GTX 1080 Ti's in the systems. Another Tiltify donation coming in from TVD or T TD TD Vagabond. TD in the house. TD Vagabond with five dollars. Hashtag for the kids. Thank you very much. Porlos Ninos. <laughs> Careful. That usually starts an OCD dono war. Dono wars, man. I've seen this this stream has been wild. Again, thank you to all of you watching Syph in your community. You guys have been rocking it today. All right, 1K hype. Are we at 1K? I don't, the thing is I have the number, or let me check here. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. Wow, cool. Awesome, awesome. Very cool. This has been one, I, and here I was thinking like, oh, we'll hit 400 this stream. We hit double that, it's crazy. Question, does vertical or horizontal mounted GPU make any differences on cooling or just aesthetics? I would say it depends on the positioning and also where the air is coming in through. But to be honest, I think it's just aesthetics. PJ, can you answer that? I would say it's more for just aesthetics. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Unless it's like a super compact system, not really. If you're using a mid tower or super tower, or it doesn't really do too much of a change. Oh, don't worry, David. It's the thought. We appreciate you watching. If I buy a PC, can I get a marshmallow thingy? No, it would probably, it, it wouldn't be that good. <laughs> I don't want to give people marshmallows with their PCs. I want to give you a marshmallow thingy. And we just got a Mr. Lewis is being stingy with his unicorn poop. D family, the one. Hi, I love computers. Resubscription for two months via... Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Twitch Prime. I just think Amazon because, you know, Twitch and Amazon are, you know, whatever. So. And, oh, man. I, I, oh, oh. Scythe. He's just, he's just bringing it in. Bringing in <laughs> $150 from Scythe. And, whoa. Hashtag for the kids. I'm, in, I'm just looking at these, the stats here. I'm like, dang. Thank you, Scythe. And thank you to the community. Just, just bringing it in, man. Just bringing it in. Greatly appreciate, like tremendous appreciation, um, for you and your community. Storms here has subscribed via Twitch Prime again. Hashtag for the kids. This is a crazy stream. A crazy stream. And I think that did it. 
<laughs> How much are we at right now? Because we started this stream with what? 300 bucks? 292. That's what we started with? Yeah. And we are at now what? Nine hundred and ninety nine dollars and seventy one cents. I know. That's what how that's how I feel. Nice guys. That is That wild. makes me a happy little camper. Camping. Wow. This is a very, very strong start. Man, I don't know. I'm I'm just stunned. <laughs> that's awesome. Party hard. Mr. Hold on, I'm sure get the name right. Mr. J coming with the five dollar donation, pushing us over one thousand dollars. Yo, one thousand dollars after this is the third stream. That's a crazy, crazy good. I'm so I'm almost smiles here. Thank you, Mr. J. Hashtag for the kids. We did it. We went over a thousand. It says it up there in the bar. I'm looking up at it. It's up there. And here we go. The donation war has begun. I'm your poppy. <laughs> with the $5. Oh, it, we, well, it's not just one. Oh, it, it's beginning. Slim Yeti with $1. Thank you very much, Slim Yeti. Sploom with $5.31. OCD donor war. Uh-oh, because everyone wants to... Oh, no. It's an I'm your poppy with $5.21 for the kids. Thank you guys so much. And we got more coming in. Nope, that's it. Okay, that was it. It's got Scythe, Mr. J, Slim Yeti, Sploom, I'm your poppy. Thank you guys so much. And PG, I think, is putting in the finishing touches, just cleaning it up. Yeah. So. You make it sound so much cuter. <laughs> Can you rate the Genesis? That's a trick question. <laughs> um, because the paper to my right says, you love everything, Origin PC. Um, but for me personally, that's too big for me, I have to say. Because um, the Genesis, the big thing that Genesis supports is extra storage space and the water cooling. So if you really, really want water cooling, the Genesis is perfect for that. Yeah. In my opinion. I if mean, you're just PG looking for a really solid, you know, high setting air cooled system, then you can go with a Millennium. Yeah. There's no sense in. I mean, or with even the all-in-one all cooling too, with Millennium Neuron. The cool, the cool thing about that is, if you get into Millennium and you see, and you're in the decision you want to upgrade in the future, you can always request the upgrade, and you can buy the, you know, the the Genesis mounting kit for your system yourself, and just boom, once you put it in, it's no big deal. Eight Wolf with the five dollar donation hashtag for the kids. Thank you very much, Eight Wolf. Not Nine Wolf, Eight Wolf. Not saying if there's a spare Elgato card laying around in there, it'd be great to slide one in. We'll see if we can work some magic, Scythe. I think we might have something. We'll see. We'll work on it. And hold. Oh, no. It's another donation more. Here we go. For King Ruler with a $1 donation. Love the PC builds. I can't wait for my own. Thank you very much for For King Ruler. Mr. Schmo with a $4.73 donation for the kids and OCD. And Slim Griffin with $5 donation. Well, that guy is just all over the place with his donations. I know. I'm just reading this out. I'm going to make sure I caught up. Mr. Schmo, Slim Griffin, Forking Ruler, and Eight Wolf. Okay, cool. Caught up. Thank you guys so much. Man, I'm going to be honest. I didn't expect to read this many donations today. I mean, we're you know we're running our campaign up top um because you know we're doing it um but you guys have been great this stream i'm stunned got y'all hit me with a stone cold stunner pa! did anyone watch wrestlemania last night i'm not a wrestling person or fan but i got like twitter blew up with wrestlemania bret hart um i read about that some guy tried to tackle bret hart what the heck did you read about that no i didn't some I guy just see randomly that. went on this uh, on their uh Went out there in the uh, in the squared circle and mm -hmm. tackled him while he was giving like a that's so like random an speech, man. And it wasn't played out like it was serious. Like it was like somebody who literally. It's like what the heck is wrong? With this dude? Was that staged or was it no, just some, someone actually did it? Was it was not staged okay. at all. Man. 
I did see that uh, Kofi Kingston won the heavyweight, which is pretty awesome. So Kofi has a connection to Xavier because they're part of the New Day. Um, Xavier Woods actually has an Origin PC laptop. Fun facts. Um, this is cool. Very cool. It was all right. There was a couple what moments. Man, wrestling is. I can. I end, like. I don't want to talk about wrestling because wrestling is entertaining. Because that's what it is. It's entertainment, and they do a very good job at it. So, there you go. I think I enjoyed it much more when I was young. When I was like kid. Mm -hmm. It was much more fun to watch. Laura May says, best one in years, then mix your love. Wrestling is awesome. Wrestling is just stupid fun. Sports entertainment. I know when I was a kid, I was snarky about it. I was like, oh, wrestling is fake. But now that I'm older, I'm like, man, this is actually pretty interesting. <laughs> Another Tiltify donation coming in from crucian with five dollars this donation is hashtag for the kids and to help pj cable manage better kappa that's what, what Cru crucian just said that crucian oh just... crucian <laughs> you and i we're gonna we have a little talk a little talk a little uh a little one-on-one -on -one combo let's see how the system looks on this angle hey come here you over here. Thank you, sir. Play a game with viewers. We're looking into that. We're not playing games today. We're building a PC today, which is why it's called Live Build. But we're going to look into that. Another Tiltify donation, this time from Mr. Schmo. Even numbers for all with a three dollar and four cent donation to even out. Uh oh. Mr. or kinda crafty with a twenty dollar donation. Thank you very much, kinda crafty. Thank you very much, Mr. Schmo, with your donations. I know everyone's actively trying to make it even. And I think it's so funny. Let's see where we're at. Are we even? We are even. We're at a thousand hundred a thousand one hundred and ten. Oh, here we go. Here they come. People are probably gonna intentionally make like point five donations. Hey man. Just to mess it up. You're not really messing anything up. It's just all you're doing is making the number go up, which is great. Arg with a $50 donation. Hashtag for the kids. Thank you very much. Arg. Arg. It's like a sound effect. Arg. Arg. How do I get a job at Origin? So if you go to Origin Piece, I can I can even show you. I will show you. So if you go, hold on, originpc.com, very cool stuff all around over here. And if you scroll down to the bottom, right here where my mouse is at, it says careers. You click on careers, and there you go. There are the current openings. So currently we have the opening for a marketing manager, which tells you all the responsibilities and all the requirements. That's currently the only open position. But if you are still interested, you can still uh, email us and send us stuff. Let's see if there's something that you're interested in. If you put careers at Origin PC, say like, this is what my background is. Check it out. So we'll see. But if you do fulfill these stats, feel free to check it out. Check that out. There you go. I hope that answered that question. Okay, let's see. Specs. So here, and there's your specs. What comp are you building today? A Millennium desktop for Scythe. Apparently, they botched the ending to the main event last night, though. Uh-oh. Man, you mess up the main event? Bret Dang. Hart, man. I'm going back to Tampa well, exactly. next year like, uh, Does anybody know what happened with Bret Hart? I know something happened. I know that some kid jumped into the jumped into the ring and, and like literally tackled him, and then that's pretty much all I saw. But have you seen the crowds for WrestleMania? That's crazy. I'm surprised that that even happened. Like, There's a ton of security, too. Yeah. Wrestling is fake, lol. 
We know that, man, but it's the entertainment. <laughs> I'm just reading through, and the reason I'm quiet is because I'm reading through comments and trying to keep track of what's happening. Decent job. If I get a Millennium, would it be that one? It would not be this one. It would be your one. It would be one like this. <laughs> it would be one just like this. So the case would be exactly the same. The parts inside it, though, it depends on what parts you choose. Storylines are fake. The stuff they do to their bodies certainly isn't fake. That is very true. Man, some of those hits and the, sl the body slams and all that. Oh, man. Oh, no. They're really taking those. Oh, slams. yeah. They're practicing. Oh, yeah. Well, you're going to do this and I'm going to do this. But, yeah. I'm going to smash your damn oh, body man. right on the My on head the just hurts you just might thinking get a concussion. about it, man. It's possible that I might concuss you. Oh, man. Have you seen all those like videos of people getting tossed from hell in a cell? Like from the no, top. but I've seen those guys like in their oh backyards trying, oh, trying, trying to do it. Trying to duplicate it. Those are the best. Dude. <laughs> oh man. Oh, please duplicate more. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Denny MK. Pass that PC. No, man. How do you donate? I'll explain. So if you go to this link right here, if you're watching, I think the hold on, let's see here. Uh, I'm bored. I'm gonna head off. Enjoy the stream. Buy Snapple. If you go to bit.ly/opc play live right there, don't type it all lowercase. You have to type opc in caps, the play in, or the p and play in caps, and the l and live in caps, and there you go. It takes you straight to our Tiltify campaign, and you can donate. And if you do donate, it'll actually show up on stream, and I'll read off your name in whatever comment you put in. It better be PG though. <laughs> Not, yeah. <laughs> People are typically good if they're if they actually uh, make the donation. They're typically pretty good about saying a comment because again, this helps the children of Saint Jude and their mission. I know that we send or last year, um, Alexis was telling me how um, they have like the whole setup over there for the children and their families, and it is very. I you have to choose your words carefully because it's very admirable and. It's also like touching to see like the amount of work and the time and effort they put into, you know, taking care of the families and the children. Cause not just the children, it's the families that are impacted as well. Um, they do a, like a world-class setup over there and it's very incredible. And of course, all the money that we're raising goes to, towards that mission too. Do you need a credit card or money? Well, however Tiltify does it, I believe they do it through credit card or debit card, not cash. But yeah, it's just through Tiltify. They handle everything. What's in the PC? I will explain to you what is in the PC one more time. Com hardware. Uh, PC hardware. But yeah, here's the specs. Soak it in. Enjoy it. A thousand watt EVGA Supernova G3. Smell it. That's a very powerful. You smell power it. Supply. You want to be it. MSI X39 Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard to hold that very beefy and very powerful AMD Ryzen Threader for 2990WX CPU. Now, it doesn't say on the, sh on the image, but that is a 32-core CPU. You heard me. 32 cores. It's crazy. Um, it is also powered by Corsair RGB Premium Fans, a single 16GB AMD Radeon 7 GPU, 32GB of 2933MHz Origin PC approved DDR4 RAM, and two SSD, one of them a 500GB and one of them a 1TB Seagate Barracuda SATA. 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 Whatever. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> yeah, go back and watch Mankind vs. Taker, Helen is selling, tell me that's fake. That's wild, man. What's fake? Undertaker. Undertaker, Hell in a Cell. Again, I don't watch wrestling, but I know about this stuff. It's crazy. Five hundred terabyte. Why is it? Is my image messed up? Hold on, let me check. My image is not messed up. Everyone's saying five hundred ter. Is hold on, is it in the bottom rolling thing? I think it's in the bottom rolling thing that's messed up. It probably is. 
Can you speed it up? No, I'm, I'm going to check it. I'm, I'm checking it now. Did I put that? 500 yep. terabyte. <laughs> that was me. That was all me. That's my bad. <laughs> That's why people were saying 500 terabyte. Why are you guys saying 500 terabyte? There's no 500 terabyte on the image. It's in the scrolly thing. My bad. <laughs> I like how you call it the uh, scrolly thing. That's what it is. It's the scrolly thing. It's a scrolling specs. 500 terabyte. I'm like, why are they saying 500 terabyte? Where are they getting that from? What is this? It's on the specs one too. Yeah, I, I know. There's the Radeon GPU, guys. I'm, I'm fixing it all now. Of course, it's like if you're gonna watch the YouTube VOD or whatever, it's gonna show up there too. We're gonna be like 500 terabyte. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, shut up. Man, and everything was perfect. Everything was perfect. Of course, a 500 terabyte SSD and my scrolly specs and specs and chat I had to mess it up. A plus, A plus. I'm going to cut off the stream, lay back, and watch a Marvel Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Enjoy it, Evo Cyber Nation. Thank you for tuning in. And thank all of you for tuning in. I know these streams are a little long, but that's we're building a PC. That's not something you do in like five minutes. So, yeah. You had one job, Lewis. Hey, man, I have multiple jobs. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> There's a lot of... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot of moving parts in these streams. And it's just one moving part that did not work, and it's not a major moving part. At least the stream is working. So, let me go ahead and fix this. Bzz. I'm going to lower the PJ mic, because he's drilling. It's like jumping on the 500 terabyte train, and it's for the kids. <laughs> Seagate would kill me if I said, oh yeah, we just told... Now we're we're making 500 terabyte hard drives. I'm like, you what? Don't worry, Seagate. Please don't hurt 500 me. 500 terabyte drives, man. 500 terabyte drives only here. There's no 500 terabyte drives. I'm fixing everything right now. Bzz. No more oh, there it is. There's the last 500 terabyte. There, 500 gigabyte SSD. Uh, all right, it's fixed. It's over. Does the motherboard have have a GPU bracket support straight on the slot itself? PJ, that's an answer for you because I'm not holding the. Does the, the motherboard. motherboard have a GPU bracket on the support. slot itself? Not this motherboard. Not that one. Some of them do. They have, they have like a holder that holds the GPU in place so it doesn't slide around and move. Mm -hmm. But not this this motherboard in particular doesn't have that. Lewis, you excited for Avengers Endgame? We're all, not just me, everyone here is excited for Avengers Endgame. Um, I already got my tickets. We're watching it in IMAX 2D. Uh, we're not watching on the Thursday or the Friday. We're watching on the Saturday. So we already got our tickets ready to go. PJ, you're renting the Radeon on the first slot. Is there a re reasoning? Is there no PSU shroud? There is a PSU shroud. Actually, I think it should be on the side somewhere. I can't see it in the cameras, but we do have a PSU shroud. The, Gen uh, the Millennium and the Genesis come with PSU shrouds. PSU shroud? Yeah. Oh, my apologies. I thought you said strap, like a, like no. a bracket that actually holds the, video the GPU in place. Whoops. That's my fault. How much? This PC is approximately 500 and 100, 5,100, not 500, 5,100. And one of the big reasons why is the third repper CPU. That alone is $1,700. I thought it was 13. No. For, on our site, it's 13 because, remember, the, if you select X399, it already picks, like, the basic one. Oh. So the upgrade, the premium upgrade is 1,300 and something. I knew that. So. Have they been building for two hours? We have. We're past five o'clock, so yeah, that's the answer is yes. Yeah, we're past the two hour mark, but sometimes it takes a little longer, so I'm trying to move yeah. as quickly as I possibly can. He's working on it. He's working on it. All right, where are we at here? Where's the chats at? 500, sold. <laughs> Everyone takes what I say and they just run. First the acid comment, then the 500 terabytes, and the $500 PC with a Ryzen uh, 32 core CPU. If we if we did sell from those pieces, we'd be out of business. That's for sure. 
He said it. False advertising. It's a stream. He can't hold me like this, man. It's like I need a lawyer just like behind me. It's like, he can't say that. You can't say that. Here's what you can and can't say. You have to say, all the desktops are awesome. All the desktops are awesome. All the laptops are awesome. All the laptops are awesome. Thank you, random hand lawyer. <laughs> Give me a cheap PC. Well, here's what we got for you. Unfortunately. Not unfortunately. We do have some cheap no, PCs. No, we don't. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the word cheap. I prefer an expensive. So we do have our RTS systems, and these are our entry-level PCs. So these do not have the latest and the greatest, but they do have very good hardware. Um, this is a great starter of kits. And this is the Neuron with an RTX 2060 uh, GPU and the Eon 15S laptop with a, a 1060 GTX. This is a GTX 1060 GPU. So that's our 4.6 GPU. Again, for Origin PC, we, we offer the premium side of things. Because um, again, we have these systems do come with the customer support and the whole nine yards. So you're not just getting a PC, you're getting a full... Think of like fast food restaurants. Would you rather go and get a burger like right, ready, premium, fresh, and thrown on the patty? Or would you want one pulled out of a freezer? How about... Uh, actually, we don't... No, we're, no. Not the, we're not the freezer brand. We're the Gordon Ramsay. We're, Ang we're the Angus... Yeah, we're, we're the, the Angus Gordon Ramsay grass fed beef, you know, like... like. <laughs> frozen freezer. They're saying to get the freeze frozen burger pizza. Your metaphor is not working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it worked. You just people are telling them, just showing the true colors of what the preferences really are. So is this getting capture card currently in the spec sheet that I was given to me? There is no plans for it, but we're gonna look into it for the capture card. Freezer. <laughs> Actually, did you see? Um, speaking of Gordon Ramsay, did you see the hot ones with Gordon? I have not, but I heard oh it's hilarious. Gosh, you can see it. It's good. You heard you oh, and the Shack one. The Shack oh, one's good oh, too. Oh, the, the shit. You know what, dude? The Shack one was the very first hot ones episode that somebody got away without eating all the wings. <laughs> That's why I was it's like, true. you know what, dude? This isn't fair, bro. Because Shaq got away with it, and Shaq should have been. But he missed the shots, though. He agreed so to what? it. He agreed. He, he, he shouldn't agreed have agreed it. to it. He, he agreed to it. And he it was for charity. Have. It was for charity. Charity or not, he shouldn't have. He did it. Shaq should have ate the wings for for the kids. But would you eat the Shaq sauce? <laughs> the what? The Shaq sauce. When Hell he no, I wouldn't eat that. That was disgusting. <laughs> That was gross, dude. I was like, oh, man, no, there's no way I'm eating that. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the Hot Ones episodes. This season has been great. Uh, shout out to uh, the First Sweet Feast team and Complex for that. That's been really good uh, content over there. You can watch those on YouTube. But yeah, Hot Ones with Shaq and with uh, Gordon Ramsay. Very funny stuff. All of them are good, to be honest with you, man, yeah. because it's just amazing to see that. You know what was, one was really good? Which that one? He, everybody was pretty amazed was Michael Sarah. Oh, yeah, that one? <laughs> Because everybody thought that this little skinny <laughs> kid was just, just, you know, was just gonna freak out over all the, all the, all the hot sauces, and he was looking at him like, "Man, I've done worse crap than this." I was like, "What? Are you serious?" Yeah. Would've been scorching. If you guys watched that 24-hour live stream, and Crucian was there, remember that ghost pepper? The ghost pepper challenge. <laughs> you remember that ghost pepper? Oh man, I don't know how you guys did that. Uh, I my, love spicy stuff. There's my a face, line. My face said it all, dude. I was like, "Oh my god." Here, but that people was a, eat more every That was a bad idea, right. dude. I just got frustrated with with Kuzi and Kristen. They were like trying to debate. We're gonna do it on one, two, three, then go. We're gonna eat it on three. We're gonna go three, then eat it. Uh, how are we gonna do this? And by the time they looked at me and just said it, I already went, you know what the hell with this? And I just burnt and I took a bite out of it. <laughs> oh man, my feelings were hurt. So PJ, where are we at with the build? I just installed the GPU. I gotta run the wiring for the GPU. I believe just got to plug in the plug in the pump for a cooler and then just go over everything real quick. That might be that might be the nail in the coffin right there, my friend. Excellent. Excellent. We're in the home stretch. Not the official home stretch, but we're like if this was like a baseball field, we're in between third base and home base for sure. How quiet is this beast? It will be. It will be, because we're using the Corsair fans, which are very quiet. And then also, I think it's all Corsair fans? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, they're very good. Mm -hmm. nothing, nothing wrong with ghost peppers. Who said that? 
Ghost <laughs> Ghost GMTK. Because he's a ghost. Get it? Get it? Get it? No wrong with ghost peppers. Mm. Yes, there is something wrong with ghost peppers. How is the Kronos more expensive than the Neuron? So the Kronos is a small form factor case that we've designed custom. There's a little more custom parts inside it. And the Neuron is more normal mid-tower-ish range. So that's why it's there's a price difference. It's based on the case, basically. I have six AMD Epic CPUs on my desk. They are server version. Yep, that's 4400 Yep, that sounds about right. Those are very expensive CPUs. And actually... Do we don't offer it with thing? Hold on. I don't think we offer those yet that I know of. I'm checking. Yeah, we don't have any of the Epic pro processors. Yeah, nope, not yet. We only have uh, Xeons. What's good? What's good? Hello. What's good? Hello. What's good? What's good, son? Ghost peppers aren't hot. I got Carolina Reapers. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Good for you, man. Let me I swap am, to the other camera. I am not eating any of those, so uh, you're crazy. What's like? What's your spice limit? Like, what's the my spiciest spice thing that you can limit? eat? I oh, don't know, man. To be honest with you, I've never really tested my spice limit, but I've had some pretty hot stuff. I think my spice limit so far, the most hottest thing I've ever had was that ghost pepper that okay. on, on the live stream. But like, that let's was say most... you're in a restaurant and what? you're like, man, I want something spicy, but not not something that. Like, I can't eat. What would be that thing? Uh, I like wasabi. Wasabi. Yeah, when I have my sushi, I really like to put wasabi on it. Right? I, I like the little burn. It kind of gives you on your nose. Oh, yeah, the nose. Like, yeah, the nose burn. Yeah. <laughs> and like, it's like borderline. You're like about to sneeze. And then yeah, yeah, I try yeah. to challenge myself to make sure I won't sneeze, but it never happens. I always come out with a snooter. Uh, Rassiar, I'm happy to pronounce your name. We're looking for a non liquid cooling PC. I'm assuming non liquid cooling PC. All of our PCs are liquid cooling, except if you look in the pro side, we do have air cooled ones. We call them AIOs because they're called yeah. all in one cooler. So they're not necessarily, they're not necessarily something you can, you know, it's an open loop that we're actually going to fill yeah. up with liquid. They're closed it's loop. Pre done. Yeah, they're pre done. I know closed loop still scares people sometimes. I, I wouldn't be so concerned about those, man. Closed loops are pretty good. Yeah. Because they're like, like back way then, back when, yeah. yeah, you could have been a little concerned about it because it was something new that you were skeptical about. But they're so good now, you know, I, there's not really anything to worry about. And they do give you the, ad, the extra performance too, because they provide better cooling than air. Yeah, if you're and if you're planning in our testing, on, in our testing, if you're planning on overclocking a system, there's no way you're gonna get that. You're not you're not gonna get that overclock with an air cool setup. So you, you I, it's actually recommended you get an AIO. If you're looking to do a CPU GPU overclock, well, CPU overclock depending on the CPU you get. It's going to depend on the size of the actual cooler you want to jump on. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, am I done? Are you done? I'd probably be done if you weren't yelling at me every five minutes a little. Yelling. Yelling noises. Loud noises! Yeah, our actually no. Actually, speaking of air cooling, our fourteen ninety nine C uh, PC is air cooled. The Neuron, yes, the but RTS. it's not. It's not overclocked. It's not overclocked. But not everyone's looking for overclocking. Um, yeah. Even though the picture does show an air cooling unit, it's not. Um, I mean, all in one cooling. It's not that. It's a uh, water cooling. Uh, air. Wasn't walking. Air cooling. I'm just not having it today. <laughs> I think Brian got me sick. Just kidding. Oh, blame Brian. That's what you do now. Yep. That's what we do. That's how we do things around here. Yep. We just blame other people for yep. our uh, sicknesses. Yep. yep. It's your fault. Yeah. Why don't you man up? I'm mm. the one that got myself sick. I felt the sniffles this weekend, but... How many years... Back. Oh, here's a good question. How many year, years before you have to get a new closed loop, or would that be never an issue? No, I mean... I. Yeah, that's a really good question. I don't know. I've, just, I've seen some. I mean, if I had to be fair, like for a 120 closed loop for our frost for our, what we call our frostbite 120 closed loop, we have event systems, and when we converted all those to our Chronos line after having them in old cases, um, some of those systems were in our old cases for what, for like good four years, mm -hmm. four four and a half years at every event that we were going to. So almost four and a half five years, then they started to go bad. So I would say maybe four or five years. That's not too bad. Yeah, I think four, 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 people four are saying four years online. 
Yeah, so maybe four or five years sounds pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's reasonable. And then they eventually go bad. You're lucky if it keeps pumping, man. If it keeps pumping, then, you know, more power to you, dude. But yeah. If it goes bad, it goes bad. But you know and what? It's still purpose. In four years from now, the coolers are definitely going to be better. So. Absolutely. That's still another thing you're going to take into consideration, too. You're going to want to upgrade eventually in the future. Yeah. Oh, it's going to keep my computer this much cooler? Sign me up. Uh, da, 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 da. I hope that answered your question, Cole of Warren. I think four years is probably a safe bet for that. Um, but again, it doesn't just stop working. It just slowly, you'll notice that like it won't, your temperature will slowly rise and you'll know like, okay, it's probably time to replace it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Any discount code you got for us. So we don't use discount codes at Origin unless it's like a special event. Um, but our airport promo is currently live, which gets you free US ground shipping and a free external uh, 256 SSD. So that's good for storing games or backing up games and files. Um, the current game promo bundle that we have is with Fortnite with GTX GPUs. So I don't think we offer on the desktops except for certain systems on the pro side. And then on the laptops, we do have some laptops with GTX inside it. So hopefully that answered that question. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I spent 5,000 on my gaming PC, my first real gaming PC. Very powerful PC, I imagine. Um, okay, just checking everyone's questions. Depends on stream quality, blah, blah, blah. I just spent over 3,500 on mine and it's overboard. Yeah, you just got to create your own budget and then determine what you're going to use it for, right? Because some people want to use it for, say, racing simulator games or other people want to use it for, again, Minecraft, um, the Battle Royale games. That's how I approach PC. Like, people, friends ask me all the time, it's like, oh, what kind of PC should I, should I get? It's what like, all right, it? what games do you want to play? That's like the first question. Like, what games do you want to play? It's like, oh, I want to play indie games. Just you want to get, get you a want, laptop. You want an overclocked piece. What, for indie games? Oh, indie like, games? In, oh, you're talking about indie. Oh, talking like, about indie like, games, like, the ones that you find all the time on Steam and, like, quick little games at 10 bucks. Expendable Bros. Like that, you don't need a super power computer. You can run it on a super power computer, but you can just get a laptop or, like, a super... Um, Dude, you can even get a Raspberry Pi. Yeah. Run that. Um, but if you say want to play Battlefield 5 with ray tracing and the whole nine yards, then, you know, then we're going to up the little the specs there. So, but I think the greatest thing about PCs, in my opinion, is you can upgrade them. So let's say you get, you spend $1,000 on your computer, you spend $1,500 on your computer, or if you get the RTS system I was just talking about, um, in about three years or four years, you can upgrade it yourself. You can take the GPU out. Put a new GPU in, and you're good to go. And if you want to clean out the CPU, uh, remove the thermal paste and put new thermal paste, you're good there too. If you want to upgrade the RAM, if you're able to do upgrade the RAM, you can do that too. If you want to upgrade your storage, storage is the easiest thing to upgrade. Put in a new SSD or add new SSDs, add more SSDs, you're good. Again, you can't do that with a console, at least not yet. Not that I know of Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo upgrading console. Because um, it's easier for them to just make new hardware. So, I hope that I'm just a big uh, evangelist for PC gaming. So I know a lot of you guys out there watching like to play. Con I love console gaming too. I own all three of the consoles: um, Switch, PS4, and Xbox. I even have an Xbox One X, and I own a PC. Because um, one thing I like about the Xbox One X is you know easy 4K. It's really easy to just plug into the TV and you get 4K. You're good. Um, with the PC, you have to do a little bit of tweaking, like with my graphics card, I have to tweak it and get it right. But if you get it right, you get the settings just right, you can get really good performance. Um, so, also some games are just better on the console, in my opinion. So, like the communities are better. Like fighting games, I know we have a lot of talk here on the stream about fighting games. I think the console community or consoles have better fighting game communities. If that makes sense, like online, on PC it's harder because it's smaller. How old do you think an NVIDIA 1070 will work with a BF5? Very well. My friends actually have a 1070 and it runs great on their system. Again, you have to tweak the settings. That's the number one thing with those games is you always have to tweak the settings. I can't believe there's people out there that never look at the settings. When I learned that, I'm like, 
how could you play a PC game and not look at the settings? You have to look at the settings and tweak it. Um, and sometimes games do help you at uh, changing uh, the settings to, for your, your system. Resident Evil 2, shout out to Capcom. When I played that on stream, that game has an incredible suite of settings that you can actually uh, customize to your uh, GPU and CPU. PJ is messing around in there. I think he's done. PJ, how are we looking? Good. Just checking the postcodes, making sure it's posting. We're checking if the system posts. Yeah, BFE run when it's 70 FPS and medium settings with my GTX 990. See, there you go. You have to change the settings and you'll get really good performance. Again, it won't look like the greatest thing ever, but you'll get good performance. It'll look, it'll look better than the consoles. PG is giving angry stares at. He's just looking at it. He's looking at the postcode. No, he's not angry staring at anything. No angry stares. Just confirmation with my postcodes. 800 pound rig, and you can run range every game in 60 FPS. It doesn't. It's just a matter of getting the right specs for what you want to play. And I think nowadays games haven't really been pushing it too much lately. I think Battlefield for sure, Metro, Metro for sure, um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. But for the most part, currently the Battle Royale games aren't really too pushy. So, I mean, Battlefield 5 now has Firestorm, so. Did you see the review that, uh, that, um, Double Cap did for the... One of the PC? Build? Oh, yeah. That was really cool. Dude, I was mind blown. I was just like, my, I couldn't believe that he, he's like, we're running at full, full 144 on Firestorm. And then I... Took the cap off just to see what it would do, and it shot up to 200. It wouldn't go down. To, it wouldn't go no, no lower than 170. Oh, are you kidding me? He run, that thing run like a, he was like, I'm throwing anything and everything I can at it, and it's just running like, hey, what's up, guys? What else you got? Is that all you got? Give me more. Give me more. Give me some more. So I think PJ's is doing some cleaning up here, so we present I am just the doing PC. Some cleaning up here. Yeah, we're about to present the PC to Syph and his community, so stay tuned, guys. We're just about to do our quick little showing off how the system looks, especially in the dark. We always like to do the dark, the darkness builds. Or darkness! darkness oh, man. Oh, man. Hold up. Arg with a $90 donation via Totify. Thank you so much, Arg. For your donation hashtag for the kids for the chiquito this stream has been bonkers it's bonkers just i can't believe it i'm gonna go back to the desk and the team is gonna be like how did this happen <laughs> um but definitely a big part to all of our viewers and our channels on and siphon your community um thank thank you to all of you i'm gonna keep saying that pretty much until the end of the stream so but you can actually see the rgb lighting there too you can see the one in the back uh pj is currently putting on the panels so, yep. Like a now you're closer to what you need. Thank you. Like a glove. I have a 1052 gigabyte G video card all running at 70 hertz monitor. Worth the cost to move to 1070 or save and move it to the 20 series cards. I mean, I think that should work for now. Maybe if you can get a good deal on the 20 series cards, then it would be a good jump. Um,. The upgrade cycle currently, again, this is not, I don't know any of this information. This is just from estimating from previous knowledge from NVIDIA updates. As we're most likely going to get an NVIDIA update card sometime this year, my estimation is sometime in Gamescom time period, maybe, or E3. Um, and then we might get updates to the cards sometime next year, maybe. And of course, AMD also has stuff on their end as well. Um, but if you... My other advice is say, if you find a really good deal on a GPU and you keep track of GPU pricing, um, go for it. Because I know, like, for my friends, they always ask me, like, oh, what's a good deal on a GPU? And, like, during Black Friday and the, the holidays, uh, I always find deals. I'm like, oh, that's a really good deal because, you know, whatever. Oh, swap. Okay. So just keep an eye on prices. Anyways, I hope that answered that question. Uh, we're going to swap to the other camera. And... There it is. Now you can kind of see the green background here, but I'm gonna turn off my camera. Where is this? I'll turn that off. So you hear my voice. You can't see me anymore, but there's the PC, guys. 
There is the RGB Millennium AMD powered PC and Tiltify donations are still coming in hot. Thank you, Baby Mandela. Hashtag for your $20 donation. Hashtag for the kids. Comment for the kids. Thank you, Mandela. So you can see the Radeon GPU there. Uh, PJ has the PC on. That's the Lazy Susan you're on, you have it on, right? Yep. Yeah, there you go. So you can spin around. There's, There's a logo. logo right there, you see? Yeah, There's so that. if you open up the case, you actually There's see... There's that the... RGB light that we were talking about. There's the light. And then when the door is closed, you can't see the logo. But when you close it... There whoop. it is. That's how it works. Whoop, 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 whoop. Technology. How many Tomato Man drawings for PC? Not enough, Snapple. Not enough. But we greatly appreciated the drawing. <laughs> Again, there's your Radeon uh, GP. This is actually the first time we have had a Radeon, or the Radeon 7 on stream, so that's pretty cool. Shout out to AMD. You can see their logo on the bottom right. Um, and that is a Threadripper CPU. Another Tiltify donation. Let me call it out. Sife's fave mod. <laughs> With five dollar donation, greatly appreciate it. Scythe, you community, you guys are great. And Fave Mod, you're awesome. Five dollar donation for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Thank you. Hashtag for the kids. For the kids. Um and there you, there's also the PCIe slot, so you can slide in a Elgato card, capture card in there. Yeah, he still has he has four available slots. Yeah, so there's still slots available to add in those cards. Does that motherboard support M.2? Yeah, it okay. supports three M.2s. Three M.2s. Okay, so there's that upgrade potential too. And there's eight slots for RAM too, I believe. Mm -hmm. I'm using four. He's got four more slots. Yeah, so there you go. 32 gigs right now, 3200. So there you, you go. Put the 64 gigs in here if you want. Um, but yeah, Sif, we'll look into that Elgato to see if there's anything we can do on our end. Um, hashtag for the kids if you like this build. Yeah, hashtag for the kids if you like the build. Again, thank all, thank you for all of you tuning in. We're almost done here. We're just gonna turn on the the lights and show off how the PC looks when the lights are on. PJ's reading the chat right now. Yeah. Would it be better to light this up? Yeah, it gives a little bit more dramatic effect if you turn it right there. Yeah, there you go. Sife's chat is just going hashtag for the kids. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So is our Twitch chat. Cool. PJ just put in the glass side panel, tempered glass. It's done, dude. It looks... I mean, that light's dope, but... There you go. Lights are on. Really Let's doing swap justice, to the other you know, camera. Is it that one? No, it's that one. And we got some more Tiltify donations. Arg, $52. Hashtag for the kids. Arg, you beast. Excellent work. Thank you very much for your donations for St. Jude Children's Hospital. And ladies and gentlemen, it does post. If you want to count, three, two, one. There it goes. It works. My record still holds. That's it, guys. Oh, and Miller Master. I forgot to call you out earlier, but Miller, because you got snuck in with the ARG donation. Miller Master, thank you very much for your $10 donation. Hashtag for the kids. So many hashtags for the kids. Again, thank you guys so much for watching on our streams, Sife stream, and Sife yourself for co hosting and narrating my voice as well, <laughs> or co narrating. It's just it's a donation war happening right now, PJ. The stream's wrapping up and they're still Dude, coming. Hey, if you want to stay on for a little bit longer to see how much more you can get, by all means. Captain know? Kirk with the eye missing underscores. Not much, but I hope it helps. Five dollars. Dude, that anything is, helps. Anything a dollar, two dollars. Anything helps. Anything, man. Anything that you guys willing to donate is completely appreciated, one hundred percent. Don't think that it. Don't think that the bare minimum, or don't think that you're being embarrassed, or don't feel embarrassed because you're only donating a dollar. Because that one dollar times a hundred people, that's a hundred bucks, you know what I mean? Yep. That's, that, that, that helps a great deal. And I think that was, PJ, if you want to turn the PC so it faces in the direction of this camera to the left. This way? Yeah. Right there? No, a little bit. Like, so it looks like angle, like a hero clockwise shot. Clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, that way? No, the other way. 
There you go. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Right there, press up. Perfect. There it is, guys. There is the Scythe PC. Check it out. You talking about this look right here? Look at that. It looks great. It's good. There you go. There you go. Writing Graboids. I hope I pronounced your name. Yeah, Writing Graboids. Thank you so much for the bits donation. Hashtag for the kids. For Everything for the kids. Hashtag for the kids. For the children. And I like that. I, I moved the poster because the monitor was blocking the poster last time, but you can see the poster pretty much the entire stream. Which hey, is you awesome. know who loves the kids? Flying. Trick love the kids. Tricks? Tricks are for kids? Trick, trick loves the kids. Trick daddy. Love the kids, man. You need to go listen to some rap, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh narrow down or close it out. Um, thank you for being here. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you guys over in the Sife stream. Thank you, Sife. Thank you, uh, community over in Sife's channel. You guys are I awesome. I didn't use any of these cables, it's a lot here. of cables to not use. <laughs> We're just gonna wrap it up here. And wrap before these up in a we go. For those of you watching on YouTube and Twitch on our channels, uh, here's your one of the PewDiePie giveaway, officially. So there you go. There's your winner. Congratulations, Shepard. We'll be sending out the PC very soon. Jumping over to our Origin promos. Dude, you're going to fall in love with that PewDiePie neuron, dude. That thing is so clean. Um, so here's our April promo. Free US grind shipping, a free external ADATA SSD 256, and an upgrade or Fortnite goodie bundle if you got a GTX GPU. As I mentioned before, we do have our entry level systems ready to ship. Again, these come with our Origin PC, the warrant, it comes with a lifetime support, a warranty, I'm afraid, I believe 90 days or so, um, and all the Origin goodies you expect. Another Tiltify donation! They're catching me. They're, they're catching as much as you can. They're catching me while I'm doing my spiel. <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous, you can, for your $50 donation for the kids hashtag for the can, kids dude. thank you so much uh again we will still be doing more streams throughout the week we just finished Sife's build just now but on i'm trying to see how many let's see how many live builds i can do the entire time of the month we uh, got some planned we got two more this week april we got our gaming pc on wednesday okay we got chase gilroy's pc on thursday okay and they're good for friday because we're just playing a game on friday all right cool next week i can I'm take not. a break on friday yeah you can take a break yay you don't take the leash off me is that what you're saying yeah <laughs> no man you're not leashed you're free oh yeah as that's i mentioned what, that's earlier, what they want you to think <laughs> as i mentioned earlier we do have our give we have three giveaways happening right now if you're interested in signing up you don't have to do all the entries if you don't want to but you know actually our winner didn't do all the entries so on so just do the entries, do as many as you want. But yeah, man, I had a friend a of mine chance. that I told him about the PewDiePie build, and within an hour, rolling back, he had like eighty five hundred entries, and he didn't win. How about that? But it's just and one entry. That's all you need to do. One entry. Just one entry. That could be the winner. Uh, OrangePC.com slash PewDiePie for a chance to win the Evo sixteen S laptop with some PewDiePie logos and stuff. If you like them. Uh, OrangePC.com slash Burke Black for a chance to win an NVIDIA GeForce RTX twenty eighty Ti GPU. And we also have another RTX 20 G, 2080 Ti GPU with Timac. RTPC.com slash Timac. Timac. Um, and finally, of course, I don't need to say this, but you guys already, this is a tremendous stream. I'm, I'm stunned. We've done an incredible job here today, guys. Scythe community, our, our viewers, and our channels across everywhere. Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, Bits.ly slash OPC play live. Um, again, stunned. Stunned. Scythe, I'm getting this system in our station right now to get it integrated. And now we are currently at, we started at today, we started at 292, and we're ending at 1,342. Wow. That's incredible. Again, thank you guys so much for that. Scythe will be looking into working on adding that um, thing for you. Um, you guys are awesome. And that's it for the build. PJ, any final words for the um, people? Stay in school. Stay in school. Always a good Don't word be a of fool. Advice. Stay in school. Don't be a fool. Stay in school. Got the rhymes. Anyways, everyone, have an, a wonderful rest of your week. And so hopefully we'll see you in the future live builds we got this week and in the gameplay stream. Bye.
Hey, that's loud. My ears. <laughs> PJ's torturing us at the end. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna see if we can try to raid someone. Hold on, it looks like we got a unicorn. Maybe. Uh oh. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. I had to develop a lot of poop today for Lewis to eat. And that's it for the stream. Bye, everybody. <laughs> it's over. All right, do it. Who should we raid?